The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Good evening. In fact, it's under £20 hour. Oh, good. On then twist my arm. I have got so much coming up for you this evening. It's lush to be with you tonight. My name is Becky and we are continuing your wonderful wedding fair. We have got oodles coming up for you today. I need to say straight off the bat before I um, say hello to gorgeous Hannah, I've got two really special things coming up in this under £20 hour. First hour under £20, not a time to go anywhere because not everything in this hour should be under £20 but it is going to be. I've got coming up for you. Oh, gorgeous strawberry hues in this Sagnatic Quartz. This is a special opportunity this hour. So unusual, this gemstone. It has got the most beautiful, it's almost like pointillism, isn't it? Oh, get me knowing something about art. I know. But it is a little bit like pointillism within the gemstone, but it's completely natural, every single little bit of that. As well as that, I have got for you this tiger's eye. Now, when I'm used to seeing tiger's eye, I know what to expect. I know to expect those lovely caramelly colours, but not today. And a much larger size than I am actually used to. How beautiful is that translation of blue? Can you see that chatoyancy underneath the surface? How it goes from these sort of deep inky blues to this sort of beautiful, almost oceanic blue. If you were watching the morning show today with myself and the gorgeous Fleur, you will know we launched a DVD. The statement, uh, statement, beautiful chainmail piece, shoulder design, absolutely incredible. I have the opportunity for you to make that design in silver as well so just to let you know if you got that dvd or even if you didn't i'm sure it's still available if you go on to jurymaker.com i've got the right sizes for you now it is open on pre-order if you want to grab it first under 20 pounds hour we've got those two coming up do not forget but i've got oodles coming up in here i really do i'm going to start for you if i may oh it is ah just to let you know i think my box is slightly ahead sheridan cool I've got for you, these are some, these are in fact my favourite bead caps we call them, but there are so much more you can do with them. 
these to me remind me of my grandma. My grandma and I absolutely love the flower fairies. I don't know if you've read those books or seen those paintings. The flower fairies have these wonderful floral dresses that they make with, with things around them. I think these remind me very much of uh, sort of bluebells. Ooh sorry bluebells hanging down they have got such a wonderful look to them and there's loads you can do i like the idea of just popping these on different lengths of chain layering them so that i think is going to give you a really luxurious look and also they sound lovely together they really do listen to that almost sounds like um, every time a bell rings an angel gets its wings off of that really sad film what is that film white christmas is it that right oh blood fest you're dehydrated by the end but it's lovely um you have got six pounds and 95 pence on a usual day producer Sheridan is today a usual day no it's not so we're going to give you a great opportunity 6.95 is reducing for you today. These are perfect for your winter wedding. They have got such a beautiful finesse to them. Multi buyers in left, right and centre. You might want to add yourself another one to this at £4.95. Now she's all mic'd up and ready and raring to go. Today it is the Glamazon. That is so <laughs> the tagline for you. The Aww. gorgeous Hannah Osborne. Oh, hi. Glamazon. <laughs> oh, I quite like that. Thanks. You are though, because you are so tall and I am glamorous. Tall, yes. You are, right? You have to lie, you Hannah. Um, I, do you know what? I think I'm shrinking. I think I'm about 5'9 now. I was 5'10. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got a lot of problems with my back, so I'm slowly getting slowly smaller. Slowly getting smaller. Yeah. smaller. <laughs> well, you look a perfect, perfect height to me. Oh, got 20 seconds you. on these. What do you like about these ones? Um, well, again, the flower fairies is lovely, isn't it? I like the fact you can use them for tassels, um, you can oh, use them for idea. feature earrings or pendants, whatever you like. It's yeah. Fantastic. You've only got five seconds left on these ones. Multi buyers, left, right, centre, north, west, east, south, northwest. Oh, yeah, that is someone's baby, isn't it? Whose baby is that? Kim Kardashian. Of course it is. Of course it is. Okay, how's about I bring to you now? Where are you? Silver pearls. Have we classified these as round? They almost, they look near round. These are proper near round. Look at those. The reason we will have called these near round more often than not is because we will look, we will get, say, five different strands. We'll measure up at five different points on those strands and say 90% of them are perfect round, but 10% isn't. We will classify them as near rounds. So that is what you've got here. To me, they look perfect rounds. And actually, let me drop them on my neckline. Don't you think these work? And they look round. I mean, unless someone's really, oh, hey up, puppy dog hair. It's me dog's hair. Hello, Mulberry. <laughs> oh, dog hair's everywhere. It's what happens when you live with a white gold retriever. Um, but yeah, you've got that gorgeous decadence in look. Now, £14.95 for what is a near round is fantastic because rounds of course very traditional they're what everyone looks for because you need the most energetic of mollusks 11 pounds and 95 pence though on these ones you're looking at a six mil here approximately so you've got that beauty and that elegance these are great if you're going to pull knot in between them but also i will say they're going to be perfect with the jump rings i've got coming up for you in a little bit because look i've got here these jump rings as part of the collection so what you can do is just open these up and i think these ones are going to be perfect for the actual size of these and you'll just pop them in between do you like that idea you're going to like this even more the arrows are in we are ready we are raring we the management will be scaring oh. £9.95 is the incredible opportunity for you. You have got such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful beauty and opportunity to get something so luxurious here. It is phenomenal, isn't it? It really is spectacular. It's got that wondrous look about it. It's got that beauty and intrigue and perfection to it. It's just gorgeous. Hannah, you know your way around a pearl, don't you? Well, 
I like pearls, yes. <laughs> you do. Um, what do you like about these ones? Um, actually, I, I like the colour. I, I like the fact that they're just something a little bit different, a little mm. bit quirky. They're quite edgy as well. So, you know, you, you, sometimes you get the stigma with pearls and you want to break free from that. It's like, try a different colour. Yeah, yeah. Try something a little bit unusual. Yeah, yeah. And I think for jewellery, this is perfect too because it's a metallic, isn't it? Liz, I love you. Good evening, Becky, Hannah and team. Those bead caps I've just had. Yes, the tulip ones. Um, um, make me think of tulips in an old master's painting. Liz, you are a poet and don't you know it. You're absolutely right. I think that is a great way of describing them because you can almost see the uh, sort of brush strokes can't you well done to you all on that right we're keeping it fast and furious because i want to fit in as many under uh, under 20s as i can who fancies a chain yeah i've got some gorgeous sterling silver charms coming up for you today perfect for your weddings i've got like lovebirds and so much more um let me show you what we've got here so i'm bringing you this beautiful chain it's a long 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 length as i'm sure you can see and it is a full necklace so you've got the solid sterling silver here with the clasp already added this is a full 22 inches for you now there are a lot of goodies that you can um that you can pair with this I think it's going to be really pretty if you do charms for example bird charms i've got coming up for you in a little bit that will go perfectly with it um let me show you what i mean so all you need is a jump ring i've got jump rings coming up for you all you need is a jump ring pop something like that on it is a beautiful quality you've got here with those also actually i'm thinking something dramatic like this northern star that's what my mum calls me. <laughs> I've got, Aww. look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful, isn't it? I absolutely adore how luxurious that looks. Did you see the most expensive Christmas decoration of like two years ago? It was a star that was like this shape and it cost um, hundreds of thousands of pounds. Beautiful. And um, you have got $9.95. Hannah, do you remember when we launched Stone Silver Chains? Absolutely, ages ago. Years and years and years, wasn't it? We weren't doing them at 9.95 oh, from no. mine, were we? No, no, definitely not. I mean, I, I'm just trying to think. I think we were closer to sort of like 25, 30 pounds for for a single chain, and it wasn't it wasn't anywhere near that length at no. all. So. We were doing the standard sort of 18 yeah, inches and things yeah. like that, weren't we? which is lovely, yeah. but to get this amount, and when you look at the links on this, you've got the Belcher chain. See that cheeky grin then? That was me. What do you mean we're going lower in price? Face. You'll recognise it. Pops up a lot this evening. £9.95 pence usually. It's better than a good price, isn't it? It is a fantastic, fantastic deal. A fantastic price point. But today, we are going nowhere near that. If you wanted to have a look on your high street for 22 inch chains, they are a popular length, but you have to pay. Anywhere's around the 30 pounds mark. 6.95 though for solid sterling silver. This is proper quality, proper beauty at 22 inches. It's gonna sit lovely on many, many different necklines. And I always like a little bit of a longer chain for a heavy knit. You know, you have your knitwear um, because I think it will just, you know, you can pop it over the top of, for example, a, a sort of, you know, um, ruffle neck um, um, jumper, for example, or a nice bit of heavy crochet. Um, £6.95 pence is your opportunity to grab this. And it is 22 inches. We have got people in on this one today. Hi, Barbara, you all right? Um, I'm going to give you a one minute on this, by the way. Um, we're just uh, giving you one opportunity, one minute on this one. Because I want to fit in as much as I can in this under £20 hour. Um, and I've got to say that with this, you're going to want to get your hands on the star, I would say as well. The star, you could get both for under £20. I feel like I've said too much, but I think it's important that you know that because it does look so beautiful. Hello everyone, North Lincolnshire, lovely, good sausages in Lincolnshire. I've got the West Midlands, <laughs> yeah, Lincolnshire sausages. Uh, West Midlands are in, hello to Gloucestershire and Cheshire and West Midlands are in with us as well today. Loads of you are checking out on this, few of you hovering and, uh, with it in your baskets. Do make sure you check out Lincolnshire or Cumbrian. Which sausage is best? Do you think Lincolnshire? 
I'm all about the Cumberland. You get like a sausage and half in a Cumberland, don't you? Um, £6.95 pence is your opportunity to grab for this today. I think it is just... <laughs> Sorry. My well, producer just gone, I bet you dance for food like my daughter. Yeah, when you get giddy. <laughs> um, right, who would like... Oh, your daughter's one? Uh, similar age. Um, okay, so the Northern Star. This is divine. I think there are so many connotations with stars. You think of stars and I think this could be for anyone. So maybe this is a celebration. Maybe, you know, someone's done exams and they're, they're aiming for an A star. You know, this would be gorgeous as a reward maybe. This would be a lovely opportunity for you to gift to someone just to let you know that you, that, that, that you think they are a star. I think this is a beautiful celebration of your friendship and kindness for someone, you know, in the fact that, you know, they light up your life like a star. Also, wish upon a star as well. What a gorgeous gift to give to a young person, maybe, who wants to make a little bit of a wish on the star. Also, of course, stars have lots of connotations, don't they, for sort of, um, you know, past members of your family, you know, talking about them going up and living in the stars. I think this is an incredible, incredible gift that you've got here. No matter who it's for, whether it's a celebration, a congratulation, whether it's just a little, um, do you know what, I've been thinking of you, I haven't seen you around in a bit and you are a star. I think this is a beautiful gift, whether you're seven or 77, and you've got here 95... Okay, I did not expect that. Did you expect 9.95? Be completely honest. I, I didn't actually. No, I think that's that's quite a hefty piece of uh, metalwork silver there. You know, it's just all and solid silver with 2.10 grams and all that cubic zirconia. And at nine pounds and ninety-five pence, I'm not stopping there. If you, oh, you're already checking this out. Hello to Devon, gorgeous Devon, South Yorkshire. I've got London in with me as well. Devon, another Devon. Wendy and Pauline, do you know each other? Because I figure that's how Devon works. <laughs> I don't know. It's like when you see two people from London, you're like, do you two know each other? It's like when you go to London, uh, to America, and people are like, do you know the Queen? And you go, yeah. I do. Um, Gwent <laughs> is in with us today, as is Cheshire. Hello to East Sussex and Tyne and Weir. 9.95 is not your deal. I'm going to give you one minute to win it, if I may, on this one, just so we can get as much as we can into this under £20 hour. £7.95. I need to get my hands on this. I think this is incredible. If I was to walk past this in a high street store and see it for £40, I would not bat an eyelid. No chance. Oh, here's an idea. I mean, I'm not saying it's a good one, but it might be. You know we showed you earlier on this morning how to use sellotape and put a little bit of sticky tape on the back and drop in how to use sellotape. That doesn't sound great. Kind of what you just it was said, a weird yeah. demo. Okay. You know, you peel it, you rip it. No, um, how do you use sellotape? This is the sticky bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how you use sellotape on the back of this? You put sellotape on the back and you drop in translucent resin. And we had this gorgeous blue translucent resin. Imagine doing that as a blue star. Oh, that would be amazing. And the light shining through. I like that. I quite like that idea. Oh, I've amazed myself there. Um, ten seconds to get this. Well done to... Oh, I can't say that one, but somewhere in Wales. Um, well <laughs> done to Wilkshire and East Sussex. Well done to Cheshire and to London and all of the rest of you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gwynedd. Gwynedd. Well done. Um, and Cornwall, well done. OK, I've got to move on. How's about some tourmaline? I love this strand. I have this strand actually. I really like this strand because as an accredited jewellery professional and for the different sort of techniques that you know I've learned and at points you will get sent, so I did distance learning with uh, Gemma and what they do is they will send you elements in the post and you will kind of assess them etc etc. And this reminds me so much of that because when you see tourmaline and how it grows, it's quite sort of stalactite and mighty, but all sort of from, from one main host rock. What you've got here is a snapshot of Mother Nature. It's so unique. I had to buy this as soon as I saw it. Um, I don't have hundreds of these available, but I have to say I've not seen it in hardly any time. Now, as I hold these out, let me show, see what colours I've got. Is it just me or is that cyberlite? Your purples, oh my goodness. Purple tourmaline, incredible. 
Haven't you got almost ruby-like hues on here, do you think? Very much touching towards it. Oh, do you know what? I've actually got um, striated ones in here, almost like your watermelon. You know, like a, it's not, it's like a pink and a green in one gemstone over here. There is some schlaw colours as well with your dark, darker, richer, almost amber tones. I think this has got so much personality. This is, for me, real talking point jewellery that almost talks of where it comes from. So it's, it's almost like, um, I mean, I know this is a really, really, really strange analogy, but it's all I can think of now. It's almost like when you get like a pot of honey and it has like a picture of a bee on it and it has maybe like the region it's from on like a map. There's the specific one I'm thinking of. Um, I kind of like that. I like that you can tell a story of where you're sourcing your things from. Have you noticed? Have you noticed? A price came in. I ignored it. Yeah. Another price came in and I am ignoring it. Why? It's because I just like ignoring prices. No, it's because I only want to acknowledge it if I know it's your final price. Now at $22.95, I think this is incredible. We're going to give you some confidence in the next price. Sheridan wants to know how many of you are there. And what she would like you to do is to pop these in your basket. If you don't want to check out, you don't have to. But can I let you in on a little bit of a secret? A little bit of behind the scenes. Basically, we have something on our products called history. So if our management team types in this code, it will tell you the history. It will tell you when it was last on, who the presenter was, who the producer was, how long they were talking about it for, what price they sold at, etc., etc. Another thing it talks to you about in that history is how much interest there was before you moved on and before you brought that final closing price in. The fact of the matter is, if loads of you put this in your basket and we take it to a naughty deal, my producer, Sheridan, can go, yeah, but, you know, it was very, very popular. There was so much interest. We don't want to upset our audience, do we? So bob it in your baskets just so we can um, say hello to you and see that you're there and then we'll give you the final closing deal. Can I also say there is also another reason that makes sense because if we're going to go to a naughty deal, the fact that you then, you, you're saving yourself a step, if that makes sense, if you've already got it in your basket, you're saving yourself that moment of, ah, quick refresh, put it in the basket, oh no, stop checking out, check out, you're saving yourself a step. So you're going to be in a little bit quicker. £14.95 is your deal. Or is it? Should be twenty two ninety five. That was your original price point. I've got people in from all over, including America. Hello to you, lovely Colorado. Fourteen ninety five usually to get colours like cyber, like watermelon. That's the watermelonish one. You've got a minute to win it. The fact is, it should have been twenty two ninety five. Sheridan's even getting worried at this. Oh. <laughs> better than half price. That is a better than half price deal to get proper quality natural tourmaline. It's not heated, it's not dyed, it's not coated. It's completely and absolutely natural. It is a high-end gemstone. And do you know what? It is, it is one of the more expensive gemstones that you get out there. And we get some of our tourmaline from really, really, really good pro providers in the world. That is better than half price. Now, it should have been $22.95. Come 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, guess the price? It'll be back to $22.95. Just so you know, these price drops do not last forever. They merely ask for a few hours. And the Late Show is all about getting those final last-minute afternoon deals and making the most out of your wonderful, wonderful, wonderful opportunity deal. You have got here a massive <laughs> under £20 deal there for you. And can I just let you know one thing that's on pre-order that is so popular, the jump rings. I've got a good sort of 10% of the stock gone on these already. I'll just give them a little tilt a row. They are. 7 mil um, up in size. 7, 4, 5, 6. I've done it the wrong way around there. 800 silver plated copper jump rings. These are the right sizes for that DVD launch we did today. If you got that DVD, it's the right sizes. Statement chain mail. It's gorgeous, Fleur. Any razels? Lapis lazuli. I love a lapis lazuli. Especially when it's natural. 
with a lapis lazuli when it's natural it's got this delightful soda like s look now Obviously, you'll know that Hannah is a guest designer, but she also works here behind the scenes, uh, creating amazing kits, amongst other, doing loads of other bits and bobs as well. Um, have you noticed that lapis lazuli, we're seeing it less naturally? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's quite a lot of gemstones that seem to be on the, on the decline, and I'm not sure if that's to do with mining or if that's just to do with... Um, how we can purchase it and mm. things like that so uh, there's definitely a, a sort of a stalling of certain gemstones so yeah i've noticed like the thing well things like tanzanite seem to have disappeared dried up yeah lapis is on the decline yeah it, it's very it's very hard to get quite a few you yeah know, there's, there's several things that are going and it's like oh yeah. no <laughs> yeah it's just amazing that we are still able to bring it to you however at least sporadic and we are still able to do it it's such a fantastic deal that's the lovely Marie. She's um, she's got away with words. She's very persuasive with our with our suppliers. She's great. Yeah, she, <laughs> she's fantastic. And I think this is beautiful as well. And you can see that it's natural because when these are dyed, you get loads of blue and very 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 small amounts of the sort of um, pyrite inclusions. This though, you can see is natural because you always get those soda like you know the willow pattern plates. It's almost got that sort of notchings towards it, which I think are beautiful because it almost looks like a bit of a cloudy sky seven pounds and 95 pence sorry I, that was an impression of a snake <laughs> <laughs> it's because she's going nah in my ear I'm going, four pound 95 oh for gosh. genuine na natural lack of social eye <laughs> <laughs> it's dead interesting, you know, to, to let you know this, because actually, I suppose, when I first thought about natural gemstones versus, say, dyed gemstones, my first thought was, hang on, if you're dyeing a gemstone, you're paying money for the dye and the time to do that. So why are dyed gemstones and filled gemstones cheaper than natural? It's because this is what the collectors want. This is what the industry wants. And when the supply isn't there, but the demand is there, you are expected to pay more. It's the way of the world. But with this one, um, at £4.95, we're just giving you these deals. We have got, as a channel, uh, you know, sort of coming up to eight and a half years worth of history as a running successful TV channel. However, there's lots of years in the background of that. You know, there's lots of, uh, we came from a previous sister channel that is sort of 14, 15 years in the making now. You know, this is something which we have worked and worked and worked to get, and we are still able to bring great deals, even on rarely seen treasures. A huge well done to you all i'm over the moon well done to the multi buyers on that one very unusual to be able to see it so well done okay everybody this morning i did the most beautiful dvd and in the morning show we did for you a selection of jump rings that you could use to go with your dvd if you saw that dvd this morning and you maybe wanted to get it or planned to get it but you thought you know what bex you're doing the rose gold version and that's not really for me i'm a silver person this is a bundle for you as a star buy Our jump rings, I think, are one of the things that a lot of people talk about. A lot of the time, our jump rings have such fantastic, fantastic feedback. They truly do. And what you have with our jump rings is an evenness. You also have a quality to them. Now, this is the beautiful DVD I was talking about. Just because I understand I might be saying chainmail and you're imagining, I don't know, Lancelot jogging around on a horse, do you know what I mean, in his sort of armour, which is where it derives from. But actually, um, it's on the bottom of your screen, actually. But the, this is the piece that we learned to make today, and this is currently at the bottom of your screen. So you can make really incredible and impressive jewellery with this. As you can see, it is a beautiful design. The sizes you need to get your hands on for this, you need a variation of sizes, and that's exactly what you have in this bundle. You don't just have a small variation of sizes. You've got 7mm, 200 of those, 5mm, 200 of those, 4mm, 
200 of those, and three mil, 200 of those. Now, those are all, by the way, internal diameters for any of you chain mill artists. So, I would suggest to you, truly, that you multi-purchase on this because I know full well that you needed sort of three, maybe four or five hundred of um, the size, uh, the size seven, I think it was, to complete the design. What I have for you here is our well-known quality jump rings. They're even, they're symmetrical, they're saw cut, and you can use them on many, many different designs. For example, this is another DVD that we've uh, got here for you at Jewelry Maker. And this is actually the one that's at the bottom of the screen. Sorry, do tell a lie. This is your bridal chainmail DVD that you've got here. And again, this works with your this works with these sizes as well. And I know that for sure. And look, here's another one for you. Have a look at that. So these are this is the DVD. Sorry, at the bottom of your screen. These are the designs you can create. These are the designs you can make with jump rings like this. Isn't that beautiful? And the fact is, Fleur, I don't know if you knew this, but I was chatting to Fleur more about it this morning and I'd sort of forgotten this story. But Fleur, our guest designer, actually got into chain mail when she was part of filming Gladiator. Isn't that cool? She was working on the set of Gladiator and um, she was out, she uh, basically helps uh, teach people like stunt riders and stuff like that. So she was out there with her horses at sort of three o'clock in the morning and she saw this person putting together the chainmail for the film. So I said, oh, what's that? And then fell in love with it. And it was very inspired. This is something that is a take on it in essence. You have got 24.95 on your screen. But have you seen the name of the hour? And have you also seen the name of the thing? Mega auction. We don't use two exclamation marks for just any old reason. We don't. <laughs> we don't overuse an exclam <laughs> exclamation marks. 19,095 pence is actually your closing deal on this one today. So that is for two, four, six, eight hundred. Yeah, eight hundred of your jump rings. So how much is that approximately per jump ring? I wonder to myself. I can hear you on your abacus. Three pennies each. Three pennies each. For solid sterling silver over the top of beautiful, beautiful, strong and sturdy uh, base metals. So you've got that quality. You see all the different sizes here as well. And as I've said, the saw cut is beautiful. It gives a really nice finish. Apart from chainmail, though, Hannah, we need jump rings, don't we? You do, yeah. I mean, if you're making uh, beaded jewellery, then you need it to attach all your clasps with. Or you could make stretches and put it between the gemstones, just like a spacer bead almost. Lovely. Um, and for pendants and things like that, you can, you can add an adornment to anything by yeah. hooking it on a, a jump ring and then straight through the, the rest of the work. And you're done and dusted. Yeah, nice and easy. Easy and elegant. And I quite like that you've got the different sizes in this for those types of jobs, actually, because if I've got a massive whopping clasp, I want a whopping jump ring to hold it all together, don't I? You do, yeah. For sort of the balance of things. Um, also, don't forget, you can use these, uh, you know, just as they are to create chains, which I quite like to do as well. It's just whipping some up. Um, just to show you as well that chainmail, when I first saw it, I thought, cool, blimey, there's no way I'm going to be able to get my head around that. But actually, once you do, it's, it's very much of a pattern following. So um, if you're into your crochet or your knitting, it's perfect um, medium for you. But let me show you. Look, I've just whipped some up. Just made a little Mobius ring pendant. Isn't that cute? Little Mobius ring, only with three. You can do this with absolutely loads. But that goes to show that you have got here the, the opportunity to whip something really simple up and, and also then to have something to hang it from. Because that's another thing, isn't it? Sometimes you'll make something, but you won't actually have the right smaller size to put it on. Hello to multi buyers in Yorkshire and the West Midlands. Hello, Greater Manchester and Cheshire. Hello to Hampshire as well. Sue in Cheshire, are you from Quack? Or are you the other side? Quack is, uh, sorry, Cheshire, West and Chester. <laughs> sorry. Or are you from the East? Yeah. Down with the kids with Quack. I like that. <laughs> oh. Oh, how's about we do something a little bit different now? I gave you a little show of it earlier on, and what I think if you like gemstones that have individual personality, 
And you've been looking at um, Hannah's top over there and going, I love that colour. You're about to <laughs> <Thank> adore <laughs> this strand. This colour that I'm offering that you are wearing as so beautifully, it's only the Glamazon could. It's a happy colour, I think. Do you agree? I kind of like to think so, yeah. Sort of. Hello, ice creamy colours almost. Yes, yeah. and that is exactly what I'm <laughs> offering to you with this opportunity. It's juicy, it's fruity, it's ice creamy, it's your style by... I think this is such an exciting gemstone because when you look into it, you almost can't work out where it's going to go next. I brought to you some goldstone tumbles this morning. And of course, as I said right then, you know, it's like alchemy because it is man-made. What I have for you here, for me, is almost the natural version of that. But you've got these scrummy little seedlets internally showing your strawberry and raspberry colours. It is a sumptuous colour. It has got this beautiful, juicy quality to it. And the interesting thing is that this gemstone sort of goes against the rules a little bit, and I like that about it. I'm not afraid to have a slightly mischievous strand now and again, and that is exactly what this is. Because obviously we are taught that when you're looking for gorgeous gemstones, one of the main things to look for is clarity. But that's not what you want on a stagnatic quartz. You want its quality. You want these speckles of intrigue. Now, it's very, very similar to that of a Venus hair um, quartz, but the Venus hair quartz will have slightly longer, sort of um, needle-like inclusions. These ones are little specklets of them, which as you move it and they rotate, you almost see into the hidden depths of this. Now, the price that is currently on your screen is not actually where I'm gonna be stopping on this. This colour, if London Fashion Week and uh, New York Fashion Week, which I kept my eye on quite a bit, are anything to go by, this colour is something that we're expected to be wearing quite a lot of in the next coming months. This has been seen on some of the best well-known of all of, of the catwalks and the big names in the fashion industry. The likes of Ted Baker, um, I saw wearing a, having a lot of these colours. Also, you're seeing a little bit in the nude colours in the motif for example in um, uh, da -da, Chanel as well. This colour is a popular colour right now and it is an absolutely beautiful item that you've got here. It's nude quality and beauty. Now this price point I'm about to do has never ever ever been seen before. I don't know the last time you saw a stagnatic quartz on your screen. For me it's been months I think. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe a month or two. It's been quite a while. It's not an everyday gemstone that we get to see. And what I'm going to bring to you is an opportunity to get your hands on a PR deal. You ready for this? 1895 is now about to reduce. It is reducing in price for a little bit of a PR stunt. We like to give you deals like this to get you all talking and at £14.95 it's a great way to do it. We have got for you here a very rarely seen gemstone. I don't know how often you've walked past the likes of your high street stores no matter where you live, whether you live near Bond Street or Hatton Gardens, whether you live near um, you know, the jewellery quarter in Birmingham or whatever you know all of these things you I would doubt would see these in any of those shop windows I, I doubt unusual see, yeah I doubt you'd see it in many places actually it's really no. unusual and really striking because of that I yes. really like it something different it's always attractive isn't it totally I always think of you as the color queen oh, you've thank you. you you really are you you like your colors and you understand colors very like well colors. yeah I, yeah always have what do you think would pair nicely with this as a designer do you remember the silver pearls that you had earlier I do I, very I well. think pinks and silvers and pinks and sort of soft sort of dove greys things like that I think they they go really, really beautifully together because it's, right. it's not like a little girly kind of pink, is no, it? It's quite no. sophisticated pink, so yeah, I think right. I'd go with a sophisticated combination. So, muted, soft greys. That's beautiful together. Yeah. Not a million miles away from a similar colour palette I have seen in a Liberty print, actually. 
not too dissimilar at all from that that I've seen in a Liberty print, which is, you know, of course, we know of Liberties, don't we? Um, and they're amazing fabrics and they're amazing, you know, store, of course. But that is so elegant. Mm, I think so. Perfect for bridal. Perfect. Um, well done to you all. It's gorgeous to have something different. I have got the gorgeous Gina in. I've got the ravishing Rosalind in. I've got the amazing Amanda in. I've got the lovely Linda in. I've also got the energetic Elle in and the delightful Dawn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, who was that last one? Vivacious Valerie as well. Well done, everybody. Not everybody gets a vivacious. Um, can I let you know of my next star buy coming up? Total different sort of end of the scale, really. This is... Oh, drama. In comparison. Drama. Sheridan, who has been in the biz for whoa, over a decade. Has never seen Blue Tiger's Eye. Well, you're in for a treat. You're loving it, aren't you? That's coming up for you as a star by this hour as well. Let's squeeze more under 20 pounds in, shall we? How about I do another pearl for you? Near rounds. Wow. Okay. This for me is perfection. I do not use that, na that word lightly, but for me, it is perfection for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's natural. Now, I personally, everyone's to their own. I personally, I would say on about 90% of gemstones will go for natural if I have the choice. So I'm ticking a box with this one instantly to get that. The reason I like it natural is because when the light hits it, the orient diffracts light. It's a bit like when you're a kid and you were at um, school and you learned about the prism and you saw the prism and the light entered and you saw the rainbow. It's a bit like that. So you get this gorgeous pearlescence dancing. But also for me, because I am a crafter, I am a creative, I actually didn't start working at Jewelry Maker because I had um, sort of any history in presenting or working in telly or anything like that. It's purely because I was a crafter and I was dead interested in it and um, as a crafter's point of view I'm looking at these and going seven mil six mil yeah eight mil yeah I'm used to seeing the standardized sizes but not a seven mil and although it doesn't sound like a big difference it really makes a dramatic dramatic difference um, I think these are beautiful and that price point on your screen is not what I would have expected for these not for near round no not for near rounds on a seven mil. Let me pop these to my neckline because quite frankly, I can't, I can't not. Oh my goodness. Listen, we're about to do a Saturday night deal. We're about to do you a Saturday night deal. Saturday night is always a fantastic, fantastic time to get involved. I mean, every single night is. But today, because we're, we're doing you an under 20 pounds hour, we have got a lot of other things you could be watching at the, um, on the late show this evening. So we essentially want to give you treats and deals and goodies so that you at least keep us on in the background, whether it's on your tablet or on your phone, because we don't want you to miss deals. 19.95 to 14 pounds and 95 pence. That's five pounds back in your pocket. Is five pounds that much? Well, yeah, first off, because I'd be really, really happy if I found a fiver on the floor. And second off, the fact that we work on such low, small, tiny, tiny margins. And what I mean by that is the difference in price. So did you know on sandwiches? <laughs> Around sandwiches. Somewhere. Sandwiches have a massive, massive markup. Sandwiches, on average, even just on a ham sandwich, you were looking at about a 500% markup on a sandwich in a plain sandwich shop. But that's for like basic. You can be paying like 800% uh, margin. So difference in how much it costs them and how much they sell it for. The jewelry world is the same. Sometimes in the jewelry world, you can pay a thousand percent more than it is actually cost. Here at Jewelry Maker, our margins are nowhere near that. We basically bring you deals and goodies, make sure we can pay our staff because, you know, they like that. And also, we like to um, have lights on. Um, and that's literally the types of margins we're working on. So to be able to take a fiver off this, we're just giving you the ultimate deal. And for me, on a perfect, beautiful 7mm natural pearl, Near round, 
I think this is wondrous. Could you imagine this as a, as a gift for somebody at Christmas time? All you'd have to do is restrand it, put it on a lovely clasp, put it in a, in a nice presentation box or, or um, an organza bag or something like that and hand it over. And what an amazing, amazing present. And you yeah. know that you've spent, well, it's, it's re relatively inexpensive, it, ugh, inexpensive, get my teeth in in a minute, um, for something that looks like it should be hundreds of pounds. It yeah. really is. Yeah. And it does. It, it, I think if you were to take this to someone, even in the trade, mm. who maybe, and say I was going to, I don't know, nip down to the jewellery quarter and say to people who are in the trade, you know, how much would you expect something like this to be? No one would guess that. So a huge, well done. Bargain hunters and multi-buyers. Mm. To be able to multi-buy on near round perfect pearls, you know you've got a good price there. Um, what's it meant to be? Ah, hummingbirds I've got for you now. Oh, I love these. I've seen hummingbirds in real life. I saw them when I was walking in uh, Yosemite. I went, me and my friend went to um, America. We did a bit of a tour. We did a road trip of America um, last year. Was it last year? Um, and I saw hummingbirds and hummingbirds are amazing. Their wings move so quickly, you actually almost can't see them moving. And what I love here is it's almost like someone's taken a photograph. A hummingbird is the only bird in the world that can fly backwards. And the fact of the matter is that that has a lot of connotations um, towards it. And because of that, this, uh, the hummingbird has a lot of symbology around it, which I think if you like to make jewelry that tells a story, I think this is really lovely. What you're getting here is solid 3.2 grams across them um, all and you are getting this beautiful design. I think it's lovely. We haven't just kept this as, say, a basic outline. We've gone to the extra detail to show. You can always see every single feather within each pearl. You've got something really beautiful here. It's a good um, amount of silver. If I flip it over, you can see the 925 stamp there so everyone knows you're giving them the creme de la creme. And and today, I think, for your price point for three of these. I wonder, by the way, if you're loving silver, I've got a silver showcase coming up for you a little bit later on. I'm just going to check on Hummingbird Charm and see what kind of other, if there are any other places out there doing them. Um, I've just written um, Hummingbird Cars, which, funnily <laughs> enough, there's not a lot about. <laughs> Charmers. There we go. Because I'm thinking of well-known, uh, the first one that comes up, jewellery maker. <laughs> <laughs> the second one that comes up, uh, Links of London, uh, £60. The next one that comes up, John Lewis, £120. That is on a necklace. Obviously, these are not like for like, but these are for one. I'm bringing you three here. Actually... Wow. Um, I'm just thinking, if you got the chain that we did earlier on... Do you know what? H. Samuel have actually got a pretty nice one. £30. Hummingbird um, silver pendant. Um, but it's £30. I'm amazed that it's, you know, really beautiful and it's at £30. If I bought three of these chains... If I bought three of these chains, how much were these chains? I've tried to wipe it out of my mind probably because it was a, a serious price drop, wasn't it? Were they six, seven ninety-five? So I could make six ninety-five. Let's say seven pounds, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could make that for ten pounds. That is incredible to get that amount of silver because there's three point two oh approximately grams in these as as a collaborative. The chain is currently at the bottom of your screen. This is going to be a great one to add it onto as well because I think the balance of it is quite nice. A good work, well done. I am moving on for you though. Appetites. Mmm. Appetite is a really tropical. Is a really lovely tropical colour. Oh, right. Nice. What does this make you think of? Lagoons. Think of a location in the world where you might imagine to see this colour. What are you thinking? Sam Ritz, Hawaii, maybe Miami, possibly. Um. That, that I think Miami, I think of Summer Ritz, I think of these kind of colours. You think of the Dominican Republic, yeah, absolutely. It's those kind of tropical aqua.
queerest locations. Those locations you can imagine kicking your feet up, cocktail in hand, you know, um, beautiful um, people sort of handing you, I don't know, grapes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I've gone into a film now, but that is what you expect, I think, with something like this. And what I love is not only does that, is that colour quite transcendent, you know, it does it, it sort of takes you to somewhere it's Dominican Republic, Hawaii, but also, look, it's got the glow. The glow you have got here is beautiful. And you can see the glow as I drop, the, uh, as I sort of rock my hand. The glow itself emits from the centre. It's so beautiful. This started off life at a higher price point than the one that's on my screen. And it's going to finish today. For this glow and impressive colour, a never been seen by price point before, that didn't go in order, but I know you knew what I meant. <laughs> £17,095, under £20. Sheridan's actually a little bit worried at the price she's about to do. You've got one minute to win this once that price point comes in. Sorry, remind me what the original on this was. £23. £12.95 now. This is a special opportunity. Can I also remind you that appetite, you know, to get appetite in anything over about a 0 0.15 is really unusual to see, of a carrot, I mean, 0 0.15 of a carrot, it's really unusual to see. These centralised ones here are definitely at least double that. I think this is fresh, I think it's open, I think it'll go great with uh, maybe some of the jump rings I did in that uh, beautiful pack earlier on, maybe in between, £12.95, that is an astonishing opportunity, and I will say truly, that is a sensational, sensational price point, without sort of divulging too much about staff cost, etc, I am just saying, promise you, that is a deal and a half at £12.95. It's so fresh and open. It's also a bit, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> that made it weird at the end. I'm aware of that. It was fine until the long wink. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe a little bit Frozen-esque. What do you... Rose gold. <gasps> These are lovely. If I say to you spaces, I think I know what you're expecting. You're expecting a lovely round globe, aren't you? I've got saucers. Saucers. What are these going to be good for, Hannah, my love? Well, uh, given that they're called spacers, that's the obvious first uh, port of call there. But, yeah. um, you, you know, you can, you can add these into uh, beading designs. You can add them into seed beading designs as well. You could probably wire wrap these into um, like, sort of like little bracelets, bangles. Lovely there's loads of things you could do with it because there's, yeah. there's a good drill hole through the middle, isn't there? So you can, you can pass lots of threading materials through it. You really could. I think, you know, spacers, they are something that we sometimes can overlook, but we really shouldn't because if you've got a really expensive gemstone strand, you've got a really high-end strand, if you are using a spacer to fill a neckline piece, you're using less of your expensive gemstones, but it's still adding to the quality because it's sterling silver and rose gold. I've ignored that price point again, haven't I? Naughty, naughty me. Well, no, not really. It's because it's not the price. Seven ninety-five. One minute to win it. We are going to do, are we? Oh yeah, let's do it. Pound off anyone? One pound? All right, two pounds off. You have got here ten of these multi by to your heart's content. We are giving them to you today at four pounds and ninety-five pounds. A little bar of these on your rose gold slider. Mwah. Put them with the, you know, you know I did this morning, the sterling silver with the pearl pendant sort of design. These with that would be gorgeous. We've done a fair bit of rose gold. And mind you, this is silver with rose gold over the top. And yet we're doing them for, how much each did you say? 50p each. Now, this isn't just going to add 50p to your design. I think that's really important to remember. When we talk to our guest designers, um, the one who's sticking out at the top of my mind at the moment is Gemma Quo. Gemma Quo says that if she is to make a necklace design in copper, I don't mean bare copper, I mean coated copper, she will charge one price, and as soon as she will change that to a sterling silver, she will 
double the price of it, okay, for the same design, even if it's to do with the class and literally spaces. So it's well worth bearing that in mind, especially when they're only 50p each, 4 95 Hold the phone! Especially as we're about to uh, bring to you a shimmering, shining example of your tiger's eye in a star vibe. <laughs> Hypnotic. So hypnotic. Let's just have a look at sort of one at a time. These are hypnotic. Never ever before seen. Don't you think that's hypnotic? Look at the way the light travels in these. Not just from rotation either. Look, if I just pull it side to side. That chitwancy, that skimming of light, that skittering of that deep and inky colour that then rotates into this almost summer morn or twilight light time. You have got on this a serious eye catcher. Not only is Tiger's Eye historically a very popular gemstone, and actually when it comes to phenomenon gemstones, I would say this and Opal, probably two of your better known. With that history, with that gravitas that already goes with it, for this brand new strand, I think it is beautiful that we are not only offering to you Tiger's Eye, but Tiger's Eye in the most saleable of colours. It's said that 33% of people in the UK classify blue as their favourite colour. Now, if that was only out of, you know, three or four gemstones, it wouldn't be a good percentage, was it? But there was, there was a lot of colours tested. There was 13 or 14 colours tested. So to bring this at 30, at, you know, what many people, 33% of the population would classify as their favourite colour is fantastic. But have you also noticed that you're getting the two different tones in here? So whether you're someone who likes the dark, rich and inky blue, or you're someone who likes that twilight sky blue, again, we're ticking some boxes here, aren't we? $16.95, but it is brand new. So I'm about to do you a launch price offer. This is an introductory price for your eight mil rounds. These have got that beautiful natural tutoyancy with that element of blue coloring to give it that quality. Now we bring to you an incredible, incredible size and a fantastic opportunity to get big statement eight mils. We only need one of these to cause a bit of a fuss, don't we? We only need one of these to get people's heads turning. These for cufflinks, great size for a cufflinks. These actually for um, you know individual earrings, perfect. And again, plenty to be made with this, with them being the eight mil. What we've got here though, I think, is something that one by itself will turn a head or two, all of them together, they're going to become a real statement piece. Just look. You don't have to sit and, sit and move these around. They move for you. Very similar to that, actually, of uh, sort of the Mona Lisa. You know how the Mona Lisa eyes follow you around in that beautiful painting? That's what happens with this. It's hypnotic. It's inspiring. £12.95 is an incredible, incredible deal. It really is, especially with the discount, especially with that. Now, don't go anywhere because... I'm not staying there in price point. We're actually going to drop this price point down for you. It's brand new. We're going to give you a fantastic low, but we're not going to change it till after the break. So don't go anywhere. Wait till you see Hannah's kit. We'll be back in about three and a half minutes. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. 
Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on. And whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jury making needs. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. There are pieces of jewellery that surprise and will put a smile on your face purely due to their beauty and you are going to see them any moment now. However, before that, let me just remind you about what I said about this before the break. $12.95 is not your closing price. It's an introductory price I'm doing for you. If you recall, it was $16.95. Today, though, we are bringing your blue tiger's eye to you for a drop-down deal. £9.95 from what was £16.95 worth of your gorgeous, rich blue tiger's eye. This is something so unusual, something so individual and unique, and a really rich colour. Think about it for your bridal, something blue, you know, this is going to be a lovely wearable piece. And actually, you know, it's something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. These for ladies or gents items of the blue would be lovely, wouldn't it? Whether you're doing it in your cufflinks or whether you're doing it in your earrings I think it's gonna work beautifully $16.95 was the closing price now I understand a lot of you had this in your baskets and you were probably thinking oh no Bex you've just dropped the price now and I paid $16.95 don't worry everybody pays the final closing low price point so it's always worth coming in as early as you can and I'm saying that to you now because I feel that way about this kit what a incredible incredible kit I've got for you. Now, in this kit, I just want to talk about the colours first off. Oh, very, very, very bridal. 
Hannah, did you make your own kit today? Mm, I did, yes. Oh, I <laughs> love that. So tell me your inspiration from the kit team's point of view. So fr from the kit team's point of view, we were trying to um, differentiate different types of weddings. So we went for uh, a mixed metallic kind of deco sort of theme. Gorgeous. Um, so from that, I was, I was just picking things that I thought would go with that sort of framework. Um, I've, got, I've got one kit that is more bridal and one that is more um, kind of entourage, if you like. Um, unless, unless, I don't know, you might be a dramatic deco styling bride there. Yeah. But, um, so I've got two very different kits. One's very sort of sparklies and um, your traditional, your, your, your golds and silvers and um, some fabulous qu uh, clear quartzes and some, what else have we got in there? Some Swarovski in there. And then I've got another kit, and it's all uh, a bit more dramatic, which is the blacks and the golds and the deco styling. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah but two different kits, but both sort of bridal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Yeah. Now, I will just let you know that the photograph on this um, is slightly wrong. It's got a bit of a green cord in it, but you're not getting that. What you are getting, though, is everything else. And the quality of everything else is... You are getting in here genuine gemstones, Swarovski, which has got to be one of the biggest names in the wedding business, hasn't it? When you think of your Swarovski, let me show you these ones. I love these ones because they're like double sided, they're really nice. Um, you've got your Swarovski here with the checkerboard on one side. It's like mirror like, isn't it? Is it just me or is this the colour a unicorn should be? It's very unicornial it, and I think actually, I, I don't know if that's a word, I think what you've got here is something very mystical, very ethereal, very almost elven. And then let me flip it over. Ooh, doesn't that look beautiful? There's like the best quality um, on your um, beautiful quality of your almost Venus hair actually isn't it very very pretty indeed so you're getting the Swarovski crystal Aurora Borealis um, in the 8 mil you're getting a 12 pack of these ones that's that one and then bringing to you 8 carats worth of your genuine gemstones oops sorry 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 oh wow this has got a very hypnotic cut to it. It's a, is it is it a rose cut? No, it's not. It's actually a checkerboard cut. But can you see from the front how it almost looks like a rose cut? Can you see that? And I think it's that sort of, um, you know, swirl, halo, sort of pulling you there towards the centre with this. And that is one of the things that that incredible quartz does for you. It is stunning. So these, these ones are your eight mil. As well as that, um, in the genuine clear quartz, I'll pop that there. As well as that, you're going to be getting your Mayuki. Now Mayuki is known for two things. Mayuki is known for the sizeability of this. So, um, and for the evenness and for the sizeability of the um, sort of, you know, drill holes on them. So what you've got here is your size 11s and your size 8Os. Do not worry too much about those sizes because I know it can be a bit confusing when you start your thing in 8O. Essentially what it means is you are getting, um, for example, in an 8 -o, it means you can get 8 to an inch. In an 11 -o, you can get 11 in an inch. So basically, don't worry too much about the actual sizes. It just means if the number's higher, they get smaller. So you've got two sizes in here. Now you're getting the galvanisation and you're getting the lining. What you are getting with this as also is a wonderful Swarovski crystal, which is 22 by 11 drop. Now, wait till you see this. I honestly, um, this is Great Gatsby-esque. Hang on. Oh, oh. I am not surprised you went for this, Anna. <laughs> well, it's rather beautiful, isn't it? It's, um, it's quite a statement piece in its own right. It goes beautifully with the quartz, it goes beautifully with the, uh, the seed beads, and yeah. then you get that lovely sort of aurora kind of coating that just, just, I don't know, it's kind of magical, isn't it? Yeah, yes, completely. 
It is a magical quality. Again, I'll flip it over because this is part of the magic of Swarovski look. You know, it's two-sided beauty, isn't it? 22 drop um, and 11 approximately mil across. What a center point. What a focal. Wait until you see Hannah's jewelry. Again, I'm not ignoring the price to be rude. I just want to let you know that is not where we're stopping. I'm going to give you the price point now. Now remember, these are. this is, the price point on your screen is not actually the price it should be. Because if we ever do a price drop on something on air and it's within a certain amount of days, that is reflected in the overall kit price. £27.95. From the original price, you're looking at more like a £13 saving. That is £27.95 for the glamour and the beauty of this. When you see you know, the name of bridal and jewellery together. You are in one of the most high-end markets out there in the business. And that is totally, as Hannah said, you know, the kit team have put a lot of thought into this and, and how they want it to look and doing that sort of deco feel. That is what you've got here, that gorgeous mixed metals, two very high quality Mayuki seed beads, that gorgeous colouring as well. And so, so, so much jewellery you can make with this. When you see Hannah's jewellery, I want you to have in your mind, I wonder how much you would be likely to sell that for at a bridal fair remembering you know we were talking about margins and markup just before the break the bridal market has one of the highest markups you know because it's a very special day and people are prepared to pay for the perfect things that they want for their perfect day that is what you have here that quality and that beauty look how nicely they all go in together and at 27 pounds and 95 pounds it is a phenomenal opportunity especially when you get to see what has been made with this because it really is spectacular as i say i'm sorry that picture is wrong please don't get confused with it um at the bottom of your screen it tells you exactly what you're going to be getting and i am going to head on over to hannah look at that necklace ah! how much would you expect to see that for at for example a bridal event 102 pounds 102, very specific. Very specific. <laughs> very specific. 100 and something, 200 and something, maybe. With that shine and sparkle, it's beautiful, isn't it? Hannah, it's gorgeous. Thank you so much for, for sharing this make with us. It's stunning. You. And you've made a lot in here as well. Um, well, I've made a few pieces. Um, I, I didn't know whether to go for one big elaborate piece or, or whether to do several um, so, sort of some more sort of uh, delicate pieces so yeah. I kind of because it, because the second kit I've kind of focused on one thing specifically I've got I've gone for a few more pieces here yeah um, it's the sort of kit though that I, you just want to keep working you want to keep making a little bit more a little bit more so um, and, the, and it's quite forgiving as well I had loads left over so unfortunately I've just chucked them all in a bag over there so a bit mixed up but uh, I did have quite a lot left over yeah. from the kit as well yeah so you can make so much more with it which is fantastic because it just goes on and on and on and I love the little bracelet design you've done dainty but you've also done quite elaborate and yeah. um, I Again, think it's just fun about it because I normally go big bold and chunky it's, this, uh, this is me trying to be ladylike trying to be delicate <laughs> I'm hoping it works I mean you obviously <laughs> gave up for the second kit didn't you I mean <laughs> yeah. these ones are particularly delicate in the second kit but they are stunning so wait for that if that's yeah. more your thing what are we learning wonderful Hannah today please um, I was just going to show how to make one of the earrings because the technique Beautiful. to make the earrings you then follow through to use that with, with your uh, necklace um, apart from those beautiful little checkerboard quartzes which oh. are um, that I've encased those in the seed beads yeah. in the design so they are the little sort of daisy looking pieces mm. in the necklace um, but I don't know if you can there uh, yeah that, well, they're just gonna have a little look at the daisy bits yeah. <laughs> So this is what I mean by the daisy, the, white, the ones with the mm. surrounded by white have got the lovely okay. quartz on the inside. Um, and again, because, you, because they're alternated with the Swarovski, you can, you can actually reverse it. So on this side, it's, it's the more, um, I think you call, described it as angel hair side. And on the other yeah. side, you get, you get the AB. Um, yes, award. yeah, yeah. I don't know if I just, I'll just do a little, if I turn that sideways. Yes, you can see you that, can can't you? Of, you have the option yeah. to wear it that way around if you want to. And you still see the beauty of, of the, uh, the quartzes in there as well. Gorgeous. Reversible. So reversible. Good for bridal. bridal jewellery. Yeah, fab. There we go. Okay. So can I, can I move the earrings? Is that going to be a problem? Of course. Is that I, I just want to move one over here so I can have a look. So okay. I've done uh, possibly one of the daftest things to 
available and that is for a demo I've picked some of the smaller beads to work with so, that's all right uh, but you know it's a bit different um, and a bit of old school as well so I, I've, I've just used a, a head pin from my stash so mm -hmm. that I can uh, add a little dangle there mm -hmm. so I've got a normal head pin I'm going to add on one of the larger um, seed beads so an 8 and then I'm going to pop on one of these uh, Swarovskis followed by another 8 and then I'm going to make um, a very basic wrapped loop. So this is a good technique for beginners, mm -hmm. but it's also it's one that keeps coming back all the time. Yeah. So you fold your pin over. You turn your pliers up the other way round. These are round nose pliers, by the way. Just turning this over the top of the pliers, and then I'm going to switch so that I've got them hanging off the bottom jaw of the plier, so that I can do a little uh, wrapped loop. So you wrap the tail around like that. Okay, so I'm just going to straighten mm -hmm. that up slightly and then I've got some flush cutters. I'm just going to trim the little end away. So that's the dangle at the bottom. And then I've got a piece of the uh, fire line that I use. That's a little bit bent there. And I've got, I've got a needle on either, either end of this one. And I'm just going to pass the needle through that little loop. So it's in situ, it's in the middle. Then on either side, I'm going to pick up an 8 and then some 15 O's, which are the small ones. And I'm hoping that they're all going to go through because I've got a size 10 needle here. Yeah, that's okay. Going to do the same on the other side, but I'm not particularly ambidextrous, so I'm going to switch to my right hand to do that. <laughs> like that. So one of the 8 O's, four of the 15s, and then I'm going to cross my needles over through another 8 O seed bead. Which again is great about the Mayuki, isn't it? The yeah. good drill hole size. They're really good. If you do struggle with these at all, you, you can actually switch to a slightly smaller needle. This is a, a size 10. Mm. Sometimes you might want to work with a 12 just so that you know it's going to go through more mm. easily. Okay, now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the next um, crystal here as like the centre point, but I've got the drill hole going sideways rather than upwards. I see. Um, and I'm going to pick up four more of the 15 O's. One, two, three, four, uh, and then an 8 and I'm going to do that on both sides. Just feed that down so you can see the beads. And I'm going to go, oh, oops, that one pinged off into oblivion. One, <laughs> two, three, four, and an 8 like this. And then we're going to cross over, but we're going to cross through the Swarovski here. So what you'll find is this won't actually come all the way up to um, the side. So mm -hmm. if you want it to be flush all the way around, you can. You can add a few more beads. I'm actually going to add in a second layer in a second. Okay. So I'm now going to pick up an 8 and four more of these um, 15 O's. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. And again on the other side, an 8 and then four of the 15s, one, two, oops, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up an 8 and I'm going to pass the, both the needles through this in opposite directions. So again, this is making a framework around the other side of the crystal. Mm -hmm. At this point, like, you, you could, this crystal will move around so you can adjust it how you like. I like to have one of them facing forward and one of them facing backwards so you get the, the the beauty of both sides really mm. um, and then at this point I'm going to make a little loop so I just want to count how many I've done of these I think it's eight but I'm just going to check yeah so I've got eight of those so I'm going to do eight of the 15 O's one two three four five six seven eight and what I'm going to do is pass all of those through and then with the other needle, I'm going to pass all of them through in the other direction. So pass the needle through in the other direction. So again, you're making a loop through these teeny tiny beads, like this. And then they'll try and flatten out. So what you want to do, the needle that comes out to the right, you then pass through the 8 at the bottom again. And that will shape your loop. And then again, the same from the other side. Like that. So you have your little loop at the top. 
and then I'm just going to pick this up so I can work with it and I'm going to pass the, the needle through the outer edge of these beads. So you're going to pick them all up. One, two, three, four. Passing through all of those and through the ato. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So you can see that we're coming down to the same point. One, two, three, four. Pass it through and then through the ato. Like this. And then what we're going to do is going to fill the gap on either side. So it's up to you how many uh, beads you want to put in here and how much embellishment you want. I wanted it to slightly um, sort of bulk out sideways a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I've gone for, um, I've got a different 15-0 uh, here followed by the original one that we're using, followed by the 8, 15, and then different colour 15, like that. And then this needle comes all the way through this 8-0, the four seed beads next to it, and then the 8-0 that's sitting at the bottom here. So I'm just going to pass these all the way through. You're probably going to have to pick this up to be able to do it. One, two, three, four. Pass it through and pass it through that one there as well. And then the same on the other side. I'm going to pick up sort of a bronze 15 0, the gold 15 0, 8 0, and then reverse it 15 0, 15 0. And then I'm going mm -hmm. to pass that through the other side and down through those 15s that are already in situ there. I've only gone through three, so I'm going to have to go through the fourth in a second. Let's turn it around so I can see. Yep, just got to go through that 15-0 and the 8 so it crosses over. Like that. And then at this point, you just want to make sure the tension's right. So if you give it a, a little wiggle, make sure everything's sitting where you want it to sit. Nice and straight, nice and flush. And then it's a, just simply a case of tying it off. So... If you pass the needle through the loop that's mm -hmm. formed by the bottom uh, beads here, so it's going through kind of underneath and then through itself, then you can tie a knot as close as you can to this larger 8-0. In fact, I might do two, just for a bit of security. And then pass it back through that 8-0. Mm -hmm. And then you can trim that one away so that it's out of the way. Like that. And then again this one, making a loop through the existing beads, back through itself, and then gently pull the knot as close as you can to that 8-0. And it, w and it will kind of hide the mm -hmm. fact that there's a knot there. Pull it tight and then pass it through. Oops, there we go. And then I can tie that one off as well. So you have a very pretty little shape here. And then taking a uh, shepherd's hook, which kind of self-explanatory, they, they look like a little shepherd's crook there. And then you use your flat nose pliers to open the loop at the bottom there. You can pass that through the loop that you made at the top of your earring and then close it again. And then you have a lovely little pair of earrings, very dainty, Isn't very pretty. Isn't that amazing that you can whip up something like that with this <laughs> kit so quickly? So price per make... For you know, earrings, it's, it's phenomenal, yeah. particularly for bridal. But if, yeah. you, I mean, if you look at the, the technique in that particular um, necklace, you yeah. can see that the same technique is repeated there, both from the pendant at the bottom and then through the sides as well. Yeah. Um, and the only thing I've done is, is I've bezel set the, um, the quartz mm -hmm. and then I've stitched through the outer edge of the bezel settings so that I can get to the next point at which you. I want to do this technique. I see. Um, so you could do that for like as, as long as you like or, ju or just a front feature, it's entirely up to you. If you want to recreate this and in fact the other three pieces of beautiful jewellery, it's all about getting that kit. You say from the original should be priced around about £13-£14, £27.95 is your deal on it today. Um, I have 
got so much, uh, so many bundles coming up for you in a little bit. I've also got a beautiful necklace, which I really, really love. Um, thank you so much, you're Hannah, uh, for um, showing us that. Um, I'm going to move back over here because you're not feeling I've very well. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I love you, but I'd rather stay wet. Well. <laughs> Let's walk on over this way, shall we? I'll bring me necklace with me. Um, I'm about to bring you a bundle of your Mayuki seed beads. This is a mega bundle I'm about to offer to you of your eight O's and also your 11 O's. So uh, ta -da, let me move these out the way so I don't get confused. What I'm about to bring to you, look at that color palette. Oh my goodness. It is so fresh. It is so bridal. Now the fact of the matter is that white as a base is a complete must have. It's something we love and adore to get in our collections and to have such a big tube of them alongside your silver gold 15 O's, your delicas in the 11 O's and the Duracoat champagne in the 15 O's, you have got something really beautiful and high quality for a really esteemed bridal jewellery. £19.95 and that is for your 22 gram tube and your 8.5 two approximately gram tubes alongside them as well. It's going to make a lot of jewellery this. Um, you are going to be getting literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of your seed beads and it's nice to have the 8, the 10 and uh, sorry the 8, the 11 and the 15 O's for size. So if you want something delicate and dainty go for your 15 O's. Want something with a bit more impact you're going to be going for your 8 O's and because you have so many of them in there I think it's going to finish off your designs really lovely. I like 1995. 5, 10, 15, 20, it's five pound per tube. I like five pounds, but I love less than five pounds. If I'm paying, if someone's giving me money, I'd prefer more than five pounds. Swings and roundabouts, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Now that is a real amount of quality. And remember how these are created, okay? So essentially you're getting these long, long, long tubes and then you have to put on top of them or underneath them different techniques to give them a different look. So you've got galvanization here, that costs more money, which is why the galvanized, um, sort of seed beads are usually more expensive than your usuals. You've also got with these, the lines as well, you see the silver lined ones here, they have almost the glow coming from the centre, almost like a brilliance. That again is another extra technique that is needed on these. That again costs more money, you have to line each and every single one of them. £14.95. You could recreate in a way the earrings that Hannah's just shown us, but have a little bit of a different sort of sparkle to them, a little bit of a different shaping to them. £14.95 for all of those tubes. Hold the bones. Well done. Oh, oops. Sorry, I dropped a seed bead tube. I've got now a cabochon. Did you watch the royal wedding last yesterday? Did you? I watched a good ooh seven minutes of it before I had to uh, leave the house. All of the celebs were there. I can imagine any one of them wearing this, including the likes of Kate Middleton, actually. What do you think? This looks like the best salon sapphire, I think. I mean, it truly does, doesn't it? If this were solid salon sapphire, we'd be talking tens of thousands. The fact of the matter is you are getting that beautiful blue sapphire colour. You've then got a triplet of your clear quartz. That basically means you've got your clear quartz atop and below. So it's genuine gemstone with a little bit of that added colour, which gives you the look of hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of gemstone. At £3.95, though, it might well be a talking point. And remember, you, it is still a genuine gemstone. You know, it's not plastic. But at £3.95, it really is a fantastic opportunity for luxury and beauty okay one minute to win it now when that one minute clock comes in it either comes in and we pop it straight on and up dobs the good in or we prepare you I'm preparing you right now preparing you for a steal if you remember a staff if you've uh, you know been here to workshops whatever I think it's very important that you add this to your order, please. Because today, you're getting one minute to win it. 
not on 3.95 not on 2.95 but on one pounds and 95 pence these kind of deals for a five and a half carats worth of your sapphire are exceptional they are phenomenal this really is a hundreds and thousands of pounds worth looking gemstone that we've got here and it is still a genuine gemstone it's got that beauty and that brilliance and that glow to it and i think for one pounds and 95 pence you could actually multi-buy on this couldn't you i mean you know i've got multi-buyers i've got people buying three of these i can so imagine three or even five of these on a neckline following similarly to the technique maybe you know that um we've been shown by hannah before with seed beads and sort of encasing it doing a similar design like that and having this five times around the neckline for 195 each it's going to look like hundreds of thousands of pounds worth and it is a genuine gemstone you could make the most incredible necklace with that you really could if, you, if you've got any of the seed beads from, the, from that kit and just the smaller ones the yeah. 15 o's they would look beautiful and at that price point you really could fill your basket with those and yeah. not break the bank. Completely. But Amazing. it's going to look so expensive. Good work, bargain hunters. How's about I um, bring you the opportunity right now to get... Let me just get my concert thing. To get something really beautiful. I think for a wedding, you want something that reminds you of a really, really special day. And there is a big business in personalization. And this is not just in, in the jewelry and wedding bridal industry. This is stunning. With this, if you have your stamps or your engraving kits, or you even know someone who can do it for you, imagine putting something special on here to represent the bride and groom. For example, Imagine, you know, you got married, um, it was a special day and actually your wedding favour to someone was maybe your, um, the date of your wedding on this side and maybe your initials on this side. How stunning would that be? How exclusive and executive and professional would you look as a business? If you were at a bridal fair and you bought these and you said to people, okay, I can do these as your um, bridesmaid jewellery or even your groomsmen jewellery. And what I can actually do for you, if you, uh, you can stay here if you want to, it'll take me, you know, five, ten minutes, or you can come back if you want to after you've done a bit of a shop. I'll put the date of your wedding here, and I'll put your, uh, your and your partner's initials there, and that is a forever lasting piece of memory jewellery. How expensive would they expect that to cost? How high a price point would people be prepared to get something exclusively created? If you go to places that do personalization like this, for example, Not On The High Street. Not On The High Street has a huge, huge following and it's all about personalization more often than not. 1995 for 3.70 grams of your precious metal is not what I would be expecting. And it's not just the pendant you're getting here at all. It's the full flourish of the chain. It's the beautiful clasp and extender on the back of this as well. At £19.95 for 3.7 grams of your precious metal. It is an incredible quality. Well done, Surrey and Greater Manchester. Uh, well done to you, Cheshire. There is, um, um, we'll just say to you, there is a tiny bit of a queue on the phone line, but it's only tiny. And we're talking a few seconds and remember it is a free phone number as well here's your clasp and your extender just so you can see what you're working with here so you can extend this by a good sort of inch or so making it a little bit um longer a little bit shorter depending on what maybe top you're wearing or what or what you're going for that day i adore this at 19.95 i think it's just something it's a canvas base and you get to create this as you like well done everybody on that okay How's about triple drop? Triple drop. Swarovski. Oh, there's more than three, though, is there? <laughs> I'm confusing myself. No. There is more than three. Here we go. <gasps> so ons. I've got two types of so ons, which are literally so on Swarovski. And then I've got for you these. Um, perfect for the likes of you, Sarah Lynn. What? These are giving to you. Oh my goodness. What we have for you here 
is a beautifully intriguing selection of your Swarovski. So these ones you might well be using in the likes of your um, Serolim, for example, or bead setting them if you wanted to. These ones are perfect for sewing onto designs. And you can use these with your Shibori amongst many, many, many other things. Uh, even just using them actually with your wire as well, you could do. You have got such a decadent look. You have got something that looks like thousands of pounds worth of emeralds here and you know, um, beautiful deep intensity coming through in the uh, silver crystal night and the golden shadow we're giving you a drop down deal today on these ones 12 by 7 18 by 10 and your 14 by 10 9095 pence to get what Swarovski is known for sparkle shine intrigue of light incredible workmanship and beauty and the the um sort of magnificent cut which just keeps you guessing you know you're looking at these and it i think it does it keeps you guessing you're not entirely sure maybe where the next color what the next color is going to be in the sort of fire elements of these um at nine pounds and 95 pence surely just the one of these in the design is going to elevate it um, 9.95 i don't have 100 and 100 of these so i am going to move on just because quantity is getting slim so nine pounds and 95 pence triple drop well done okay folks you how much these are Sheridan yeah that's amazing I remember launching the concave cut and when we launched the concave cut we did a couple of things one of them was we did three in a little box do you remember these we used to use three in little boxes and they were dependent on size between sort of 45 and, and sometimes 60 ish pounds they came in just a little box i am bringing to you the concave cut which for me is still to this day my favorite cut of all time look at the quality you have in this this is truly next level spectacular. What you have with this is a cut that enhances the refraction, it enhances the inner glow, it enhances the way in which the light dances. It is truly, truly an exciting opportunity. Now, the fact of the matter is that the concave cut is one of the most elaborate cuts that you can get your hands on. This is really right up there when it comes to mastery. And intriguingly, once you learn how to do a concave cut, it's actually not where you, it, that's essentially when you become a concave artist. You really are, you know, towards the top of your game. For doing around, and I just want to let you know, because you might be looking at this now, I do need to remind you, you're actually getting four of these in, in the different sizes. But... I need to remind you what we're getting with this is this incredible interaction, this incredible beauty. And also to remind you of the time consume, how much time these consume for the actual um, concave artist. So from cobbing to stranding of around, what I mean by that is from getting the gemstone, separating off the bits you don't want, let's say, and stranding per gem to do a perfect round takes about eight minutes. To do one of these, it takes around 45 minutes per gemstone. And that is why you might expect these to be at the old school considered purchase, the sort of 45 pound point. Have you noticed what I've done again? Have you noticed I keep doing this? Am I, am I ignoring prices just to be rude? <laughs> Not at all. I am dropping this. This is Diamond beauty, it has never been this price point before at all. These are entirely natural. It is next level of, of mastery, of workmanship. These are going to give your pieces of jewelry the most dramatic and elaborate of looks. Do you understand why this is one of my favorite cuts? Can you see how this is so hypnotic and beautiful? The, even the table itself, this is lowest ever price point. I hope you're coming in on this one. You need to be staying there on the phone lines and, and, and waiting for these ones, trust me on that. Because again, at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, this price point is gonna be a distant memory. But look, even the table, we have to, the table of these, I'll show you the light interaction there on the table. We even, you can see, 
see there have to concave every single facet that's why it's called a concave cut mind you you know a facet which is hard enough to do anyway working with those high speed lays with diamond tips and polishing these up to look as fantastic as they do a flat facet will ping the light straight back to your eye but actually what you've got with this is not a flat facet you get a curvature in every single facet if that curvature isn't quite right if it's a little bit more angled if it's a little bit more um if it's a bit wonky the light won't interact the way this is you won't get that hypnotic sparkle that you just want to chase around you know a bit like um, your dog does when it sees a mirror reflection you know what I mean when it sees a mirror reflection bit of light on the wall and your dog sort of chases it that, that happens to other people right that's kind of what you've got here please do hold those phone lines uh, because that truly is is a price point never say never but we expect never to be repeated well done to you all those will go great again with your kit they'd be your second kit either kit they'd be fantastic lovely idea well done all on those ones okay so I've got so much more coming up for you today. Can I just remind you that I have got the Sterling Silver Showcase coming up in a little bit. Fuck. Clear quartz. These with the ones I've just done for you. How could we work these together, please, Hannah, from a designer's point of view? Um, well, again, I'd, I'd go for a pendant of some... <sighs> Some description. I, yeah. I am very partial to the seed beads, so I do a bezel set uh, pendant, and then and then probably add some kind of netting um, and incorporate the quartz in the netting. Yeah. However, I also think that would look fantastic if it was prong set with the uh, sterling silver wire or something like that. Beautiful idea, absolutely beautiful idea. So this is what I'm about to bring to you. When is the last time we brought to you perfect rounds of clear quartz? Because for me, it feels like quite some time. Clear quartz, when it is of quality like this, and it's the clarity I'm really focusing on with this one, when it is clarity like this, you are being offered something which once used to be called optical quartz. And it was called optical quartz because um, opticians used to use it in their glasses because it magnifies. When you have a clarity in optical quartz like you have here, it works with everything. No questions, no quibbles. It works with everything when it comes to its colour. Because it doesn't matter what you pair with it, it magnifies it. For example, let me show you some blue in the background. So, um, blue and ice white, do they work together? Well, yeah, of course they do. In particularly when you see that that colour is actually taken and magnified. There is nothing that you can't put with this, even something as magically <laughs> multicoloured as this. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what you put with it, it's going to work. And I think that being able to have the option and the opportunity to know you've got something in your stash that's going to work is useful. Do you know what this is a little bit like? It's a little bit like your store cupboard goodies. You know, you have your store cupboard that's got all your essentials in that you know you can dip into when you like. For example, your tin tomatoes, your rice, you know, those kind of things. They're an essential to just dip into now and again. That's exactly what this is perfect for. 34 carats worth of your clear quartz in the faceted rounds. Good work to you. Oh, Titania, I like your name a lot. I really do. Um, I've got you in with me. I've got Jill in with me. Um, West Yorkshire in. Well done to your collectors from plenty of different places, actually. One of which I can't pronounce. Greater London, you're in as well. £7.95 pence. Good work all. So, next up, I'm going to do another quartz, I think. Oh, no, it's not. I'm down the line. Down the line. Silver. Oh, these are lovely. I did these yesterday, actually, I think. Did I? Hmm. Who knows? It's blur. Maybe not. You know what? These would be great with this necklace. These have only just come back in stock, apparently. Ooh. ooh well, I never. Twist. Movement. When you're getting movement in jewellery, you're getting something that the highest designers in the world want to work with. Why do you think movement, like the twist you're getting here, is so important, Hannah? Um, it's, it's the old uh, sparkle factor, isn't it? I, and mm. You know how uh, humans are like, predisposed to be attracted to sparkle? Um, I, th I think it's something to do with searching for water. water. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so I think that's it. If you have something that's got movement in it, it's perhaps faceted or it's shaped so that you make it sparkle more. Yeah. Like humans, as a as a race, like they just can't help but look at it. Yeah. 
And you are getting this almost rippling yeah. as you would in water, aren't you? These, you are getting a length of um, three and a half centimetres approximately. Seven pounds and 95 pence. Or the drop down price that's about, uh, the, the drop down price that's about to come in. Grab that uh, 22 inch chain I did for you earlier on. It's just one of these on there for £4.95. That's for all five of them, working out about a pound each. This is a brilliant chance. Now, these are not, um, you know, these are something that we do not get to see things like this at hardly any time at all, but they are going to go so far. Put them on the 22 inch necklace I did for you earlier on. Just one would work, but you can go for all five at different intervals on that chain. Because you remember it was the belt chain? so it's nice and large do keep your eyes out on jewelrymaker.com because we've done some fantastic items for you today it is solid sterling silver that you are getting here and it does give you a beautiful finesse and finish if i just pop on you are looking at about 0.4 grams in each one of these. So again, really a lot of weight and luxury that these are going to add. I've got multi-buyers. Hiya, Mark. You all right, Mark, love? Um, I hope you're all good, my love. Um, Hartford, she's in with us as well. I've got Rachel in and Gail in and Barbara in and Claire, Claire in. I've got Mazza in. Hi, Mazza. I've got Helena in as well. I have got the most amazing pearls coming up and they're definitely going to give you a zing, that's for sure. We're coming back with them straight after this break. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. I'm about to show you something that's going to take your breath away and then I'm going to tell you, you're going to go, oh my gosh, Bex, I want them and need them. I'm going to tell you straight away, these have sold out. They were my deal of the day today. Um, um, it's always worth looking back on jewelrymaker.com, but I know that these sold out in like three, four minutes when we did them on the morning show this morning. Uh, the reason I wanted to show you these is because they are a different kettle of fish than what I'm about to offer you. They have a beauty about them that I am going to almost mimic in my next design. This was the deal of the day. Sold out in around about three, four minutes. What I'm about to offer to you is similar in the sense of still a nucleated pearl, but this time, look. Look at how perfect they go as an alternate. Don't they work beautifully as an alternate? These sold out three and a half minutes, uh, 129 pounds, I think. 129 pounds start price on these ones. What I'm offering to you with these is your beautiful luxury size nucleated pearls, 39 pounds and 95 pence. Now, obviously they are different. They are kind of quite different, but truly at 39.95, if you missed out on these, or maybe you couldn't afford the original 129.95, you know, price, 
price point, then don't worry about it. But this is a really beautiful opportunity to get something that nods towards it. And especially if you're a bit more classical, not every bride would want maybe the quirky design and individuality, I would say, on these pearls. These ones, a lot more ethereal and a lot more traditional maybe and a lot more affordable than I would maybe expect on the larger three uh, centimetre ones to be. Hannah, you are smiling at these in such a beautiful <laughs> way. Why the smile from ear to ear on these, Hannah, I, love? I just think these are fantastic. The, the, the truth behind the smile is that I know that, I, that we can get um, some wonderful staff discount for working here. So uh, the prices are amazing here, but if there's anything left, that's so going in my, in my shopping bag. Is it? Yeah. And what's coming to mind for a make? Um, I just like the, like the big, bold, chunky look. So I think a very simple spacer, maybe some, like some rose gold or something like, I mean, like the saucers we had earlier. Do you remember, I think, that, I think they'd look quite pretty. Yes, I know inset, what you mean. In, uh, just inset in between them and it would look fantastic with, like, with a lovely clasp, probably a, a fancy clasp but you could turn around and have that as a feature as well. Nice and the idea. whole thing is, is just, it's a luxury item, isn't yeah. it, for an incredible price point. Yeah, you have really got that luxury. And if I just pop this to my neckline, remembering that on average, you know, your luxury size, we say, is 9 mil and above. These are 11 to 12. That is luxury. And bear in mind, we here at Jewelry Maker don't just go, oh, it's a luxury size for us. In the industry, when you're look, talking about nine mils and above, you're talking about luxury sizes. I've got 12 mil here. That's taking me into the elite of luxury and yet still very, very affordable. 39.95, a huge congrats to you. Okay, sterling silver um, showcase coming up for you in a little bit. Before that, though, I've got what almost looks like wedding bands. Not as in ding, 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 as in wedding rings. <laughs> that was my impression of a band. Was that a wedding band? <laughs> yeah, it was my impression of a band. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard of music, yeah. <laughs> Quite a popular thing, actually. <laughs> it's National <laughs> Album Day today as well, don't forget. Um, yeah, that's my wedding band album. Look, you'll see what I mean when you see them. They do, they look like wedding bands. Don't they? <laughs> They've got that feel to them. So, maybe one of these just on a chain as a representative of a wedding band would be gorgeous. Again, big sizeability to each one of these, which means if you wanted to stamp onto them, perhaps you could obviously put a, you know, a metal rod or something through them so they don't crush down, but you could easily do that. Look at how reflective these are. Wow. You can see the top of your bubble there. Kerry's got a lovely bubble hat on today. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so beautiful that you have the opportunity to see that highly reflective surface and you get to see so much of it. Sterling silver, um, and silver in general actually, gives you more shine back to the eye than platinum, titanium, gold, but it doesn't always, uh, you know, sort of touch the sides of your bank account as much as titanium, platinum or gold. Nine pounds and 95 pence is your closing deal with these ones today. And that's for all three three of them. So whether you're using these through like your Kumihimo weave maybe, or whether you're using these as a representative of a, a wedding ring, I'm thinking of something like this in a really beautiful card. If you're going to a wedding and you made a card that was maybe to do with, you know, you wrote a little poem or something about the wedding ring and what the continual circlet of silver represents, the unity, the eternity, and you were to actually have this just on that card, on, on a piece of cord or even on a chain. What an incredible made to wear gift that is, but also you're gonna be winning for best card given, aren't you? Sterling silver, 9.95 for all three. That's 3.40 grams in your 10 mil. Stay exactly where you are on those ones. Nice and sturdy too. I love this design because what you have here is something you could easily put into the center of a slider bracelet or into a neckline. I would honestly suggest if you like this, you get yourself two because I think these are so individual. Nowhere else have I ever seen a chain quite like this. Nowhere else have I ever seen a chain 
that isn't just a singular chain look, it's a double chain in each section, which gives you more opportunity to do so much with this. I actually said, and I mean, I, that possibly is a little bit quirky, but you can actually use this on your finger to go down to a hand adornment. So imagine actually popping that onto a bracelet. I think that'd be really cute, see? Just attach it, maybe get another one. I get two. One for there, one for your actual bracelet. Sorted. You have got $12.95 on this one. There's a lot of sterling silver indeed. Um, 2.3 grams on this one. And I think with the sort of doublet of the chain that you're getting in there, there's plenty you could do. If you wanted to just use sort of one element of the chain, then you could. But you can also use it to actually maybe almost channel set with chain your gemstones inside. It's possible. It's definitely possible. But that'd be really pretty, wouldn't it? Well done to you all who's got it in your basket. It's lovely to have you on board with us today. Very nice on this National Album Day. Oh, you've been listening to your favourite tunes. Agadoo's been playing in my car. £9,095 <laughs> for you today. Agadoo's. Great. £9,095 for you on this one. That is getting a genuine pearl. That, by the way, not a shell pearl. Oh, if you got this morning the lovely, we did these brand new um, sort of uh, halo designs of, of sterling silver. So basically it was a circlet of sterling silver, not too dissimilar from those bands actually, with a real pearl on the inside of it. If you got those ones today, this matches up perfectly because it's a lot of sterling silver, but also it is a genuine real deal pearl in there. That is divine, isn't it? And the movement of it still is there. You might think, because we've done double on the chain in this, that it'll be a bit clunky, but it's really not. The movement of it is truly divine. Really lovely movement, really, really comfortable. Do make sure you're checking out because uh, my producer's saying we are limited. So please do get it whilst you can. Okay, how about I bring you another pearl? But not quite a pearl that I have seen us do yet this evening. This has got texture. And when you get texture on a pearl, you get more beauty of light interaction. Um, it's a little bit, I suppose, um, um, if you think about it, when you're looking at a serene lake, maybe. If you're looking at a serene lake and you see sort of, you know, a swan in the distance, for example, um, and you see sort of the swan moving towards you, you will see, you know, swans are all very slender on the surface, but as you know, they're kicking underneath the water, aren't they? Which, again, is why they have a lot of symbolism to them for hard work, etc. But you see this movement and rippling of the light. And when water ripples and when water moves, the light doesn't just hit a flat surface and bounce the light into the eye. It moves and alters and changes. And that's exactly what this pearl does. It is special. It's your star by. Honestly, this is the nicest Biwar pearl I have seen in quite some time. What have we called the colour of these? Metallic. Metallic Biwar. I've seen a metallic white Biwar, did a beautiful one this morning. The colour on this, other level. Other level. Oh my goodness. The way that the light is being displayed on this is like a dancing rainbow, pirouetting across the surface, giving you this magnitude of light. One of these is effective, the whole strand of them is breathtaking. You have got your centre drilled Biwa pearls here. They therefore sit lovely and level and give you almost a sort of cup style design with, without much fiddling around. You are getting with this peaches, silvers, teals, purples, ultraviolets. And because you're getting all of those colours, it's adding interest to your designs. It's the interest and the quality and the colour of these as that light dances across the surface, which is sublime. 
Metallic natural pearls is not some, uh, are not something that we can snap our fingers and see just willy nilly. It's something that takes time and care and a real, to be honest, little admiration in a way to get them. The first time I properly saw a pearl um, that was a Biwa pearl, I saw a beautiful strand of them. It was marked up to over £500 and that was at a trade event. What I'm bringing you today, for me, is personally actually better quality than the one I'm thinking of. Because the one I'm thinking of, marked over £500, didn't have this mermaidial metallic with the peaches, the ultraviolets, the hot pinks, the blues, the golds underneath it. This really has got it all. And actually, it almost feels, it sounds odd, but it's true, this almost feels a little bit crass to say. But... I always feel like there's no need to talk about the price on this. Obviously, I'm going to, but I almost feel like there is no need because actually, were this £60, it would be okay. Were this £50, it would be fantastic. £29.95 is actually a bit of a knock-my-socks-off deal because when I think of Biwa pearls, I think of Biwa pearls I have brought to you at £70 and £80 pounds worth. Eleanor, oh, those Biwas are gorgeous. Some amazingly stunning pearls today. It's made me very happy, says the lovely, happy Eleanor, who is quite frankly just um, giddy, probably, waiting for your, your wonderful orders to come through, I bet. You have got that quality, Eleanor, and I'm so glad that you've got plenty of pearls um, and you've got your hands on some today. You're not the only one who's checked out. Lots of people have checked out. One thing that none of you know at this point, is I'm not stopping there. I'm actually going even lower on this, even though to me that is actually exceeding my expectations of price point at $29.95. I'm actually, I've actually got for you here something which I would expect to be a considerable amount more actually. But today, for you, my producer Sheridan is saying I'm going to do metallic pearls here today under 20. That's what we're doing on metallic pearls. Not just any metallic pearls, natural metallic pearls, natural metallic Biwa pearls, mind you, at sizes of up to, wait, over two and a half centimetres, 27 mil on this. 19.95, this is your time to react. I'm not used to seeing these at this price point. Well done, everyone, to check out on this one because there is a queue on your tail right now. So please do be as quickly as you possibly possibly can. These are the deals, these are the goodies, these are the treats we'll bring into you this Saturday evening, 1995. Hannah, you look more than impressed with these, I've got to say. <laughs> I absolutely love them. I mean, I love Bieber pearls anyway, but I've, yeah. I've, I've got the whole kind of like shabby chic idea in my head where you, where you incorporate sort of maybe sort of ivory laces and some uh, kind of almost coffee coloured gemstones with it and mix the whole lot up together and get something really organic. I, mm. oh, I just, I've just... I need to make something for me out of those. Yes. And I think that's a gorgeous thing that these are yeah. saying to you, aren't they? Make with me. Yeah. They, they really are talking to me. I know, I know people think we're slightly bonkers, but and, and many of the designers believe that uh, gemstones kind of talk to you. And yeah, first talk a lot to of people you. say you that. You are naturally yeah. drawn to things. And yeah. they are stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. They truly are, aren't they? Well done, Eleanor, you've checked out. Um, just remember, by the way, actually, speaking of checkouts, just in case you are new, if you check out on this and we've got, you know, £30 on your screen as we did before and you check out, you might go, no, you've just dropped the price, but I paid £30. We don't do all the calculations until later on. Um, everybody pays the final closing low live on air, but all of those low prices only last until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So you've got literally 12 hours on the nose to now. Um, well done to Eleanor. Multi buying loads of you, by the way. Rose is in, Haley's in, I've got Leslie's in, I've got Helena in, I've got uh, Belfaster in with me, doesn't say your name, but welcome to you. I've got a collector in West Midlands as well, in too. And at 19.95, it's a really lovely luxury look. You may well want to finish these off with sterling silver. I've got sterling silver coming up for you with and a plenty of it in different guises still in silver galore after the break <laughs> Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. 
Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker, the one stop shop for all your jury making needs. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the Payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Sterling silver galore. Just sterling silver, plain sterling silver. No, I have not seen this chain this year. I'm almost positive. And I remember this chain. Do you know how difficult, well, not difficult it is to remember like different chains, but when you're a presenter, as is with a guest designer, when you're here, you know, five days a week, sometimes doing six, seven, eight shows in a week, you see a lot of chains. 
chains that stand out and stick in your memory stick in there for a reason and for this one it's because it's unlike anything else I have ever seen anywhere it is luxury sterling silver with rose gold this hour it's coming just look at that mmm that is divine Look at that. Fully finished off with the clasp. Isn't that one of the nicest chains you've ever seen? Do you know what? Might even start with it. Am I? I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to start with it. I am bringing to you here truly one of the most beautiful, beautiful strands I have ever brought to you. What we have here is one from our supplier in Hatton Garden. And what you're getting... <laughs> what you're getting with this from our connections in Hatton Garden and that's you know the location in which we are uh, sort of organizing to get this from you are getting the most beautiful ribbon twists of almost uh, sort of uh, um, molten rose gold so that's what this looks like when you um, go to you know get your precious metal your bullions um, you are buying red gold which is what this is referred to as for premiums, usually about 10, 15, 20% higher than you would for even white gold. You have got lashings of this rose gold on here. In fact, probably for me, the most um, amount all in all of rose gold I've actually ever brought to you on a chain because you've got to think about all of the individual elements that you're getting in, in just one of these stunning spaces. There are already plenty of you queuing up on the phone lines for these. It is a spectacular. Let me tell you a secret about this hour. A secret, so secret, I could only keep it secret for, ooh, eight minutes. <laughs> um, this is not just a sterling silver hour. This is going to be an under £20 sterling silver hour. So we are going to bring every single thing to you in this sterling silver section for under £20. And we are kicking it off with a bang. I've ignored that price for a, ring, a reason. Today, for these ribbons of rose gold and that solid sterling silver that plays perfectly, one into it, all of these static, by the way, so they're not going to, you know, topple on top of each other or anything. Your drop-down deal is about to come on screen. Please do seize the moment on this. I genuinely can't think of a time that we have seen something like this at these kind of price points. It's been ages since I've seen this um, beautiful chain. It's lovely to be with you tonight. My name's Becky, and the person sat just alongside me who's um, smiling a lot at this one is the wonderful Hannah. I'm not seeing this in ages. Why such a big smile on this, Hannah? Um, the, the smile is basically, I, I was in a, a popular high street store the other day and I picked up something not dissimilar to this, mm -hmm. but it was in base metal and it was at least four pounds more expensive than this price. For a base metal. For a base metal. And this is just incredible. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of kicking myself for even bothering to go into the other shops because at this kind of deal I should just be getting sterling silver with this yeah. amazing yeah. amazing rose gold effect oh, yeah I love it and it is gorgeous as well to have the real rose gold over a real precious metal you know getting real rose gold over copper is all well and good and nice but getting real rose gold over real sterling silver is something very very special it's something very impressive you are getting way over four grams in this just to let everybody know way over four grams worth of precious metal in this which is magnificent these are your Christmas presents sorted aren't they definitely these, definitely at yeah. that point I suck in for the price point yeah isn't amazing. it i'll just weigh it out for you just to be sure because um the the what's the name isn't on the bottom of the screen is it 4.77 grams wow on one stunning necklace chain this is one of those that people are going to talk about you wearing i think you know it's so unique and individual i've never seen anything like it actually it's really pretty it's really beautiful isn't it even just one of those metallic pearls i brought to you earlier on whether we do the nucleated pearls or whether we do the metallic b -wars. you could of course add things to this you just pop a jump ring over the top of it if you wanted to or use a head pin to do a double wrap loop you could add something to it but it's well worth sort of bearing that in mind i suppose isn't it by the way if you love your metallic colors i had to bring this over to give you an idea of something we're going to be learning to make later <laughs> 
I've never ever Hannah seen anyone do anything like this. Good. <laughs> it is so, so impressive. And we're going to talk about how to create this in a little bit. So just to let you know that's coming up with a gorgeous kit. Okay, well done all. Let's do some Mr. Charms. What about for your groomsmen? For your groomsmen to wed him. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? You could pop them on a tie pin, maybe. Or the collar to collar designs. They're yeah. still quite big, aren't they? There you are. Solid sterling silver with the Mr. Mr. Um, size that is that uh, logo that you've got on there eight pounds and 95 pence solid steel in silver it is um in the center we've not seen these ones before by all accounts solid 95 eight pounds and 95 pence for you today i've not seen these in sterling silver before i've only seen them in i think it was brass we were doing wasn't it before i can't remember I'm going to be entirely honest with you here. What we're about to do for you is bring to you a treat that, because you might be looking at these and going, Bex, I'll be honest, all of my friends are married off. I don't, you know, maybe know anybody who's, who's uh, you know, getting married anytime soon. These could just be a lovely little gift for your partner. These can be a wonderful little, uh, you know, addition for you to pop, just a jump ring on top of them and then pop it into a cord or into a chain or whatever it might be. Everyone now, um, loads of ladies for, you know, I've seen um, brides wearing like bride-to-be t-shirts and things like that. What about the gents? Four ninety-five. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, even if this, no, no, I shouldn't say this, so pretend I haven't, but even if that is just for the silver, that is incredible. Imagine using this in like your reticulation. You know when you melt down silver and we've shown you how to do like, you know, ball silver and stuff like that on, on um, TV before. You know, even when you just think about the gram weight for the silver, I think that is a really very good price point. And also one thing I will mention to you too is it's lovely and flat on the back and lovely and open. So you could stamp on the back of this if you wanted to. You could burnish the back of it actually and like texture it if you wanted to four pounds and 95 pence and why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near look at that what a bow da, da, da. you can actually hang that in the what well, i'm thinking why do birds suddenly appear look at that <laughs> oh that's so nice isn't it Oh. Also, I think you could cross that off as a Miz as well. <laughs> this could just be me. That could be me too. <laughs> yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Okay. Let's go here. Oh, I love these. I really do. And what I like about them is I think these are lovebirds. Look at this. The lovebirds. These birds are so beautiful and what I like is they are lovebirds and lovebirds are said to fall in love and stay together forever. What I love about these and it might just be me is these two birds have got very different personalities. Lovebirds could be for anything. This could be to tell your partner um, that, you know, that you're thinking of them. This could be to tell your best friend that you know even though you know they've uh, you know you don't see them all the time, you think of them. This would be great maybe as a Christmas present. If you've got anyone in your family who's recently um, flown the nest, as it were, and gone off to university, what a beautiful gift to be able to give to them. You've got your two loops at the top here where you can actually add your chain in, do your necklace design, for example, or your sterling silver pendant. Even, actually, if you wanted to, snip those bits off, obviously keep them, and just use that as a halo design, maybe doing a lark's head um, loop through there. Six pounds and 95 pence to get a serious amount of silver but also something that has a lot of connotations birds have a lot of connotations it's something to do with sort of 
friendship and it's to do with kindness and it's to do with caring and it's to do with family and people moving on. You talk about people flying the nest just because they fly the nest doesn't necessarily, well it definitely doesn't mean that you know you forget about them. Together here two lovebirds kept in an eternity circle, no end and no beginning. $6.95 reducing today to... $4.95. That is your closeout deal we're doing on this one today. And what we mean by a closeout deal is we're giving you this opportunity and we are giving you the, um, you know, your final deal essentially on this. It is in solid sterling silver, 2.20 grams on this one. You've got that beautiful bird-like spirit with this too. I like how we've got so much silver in this, but we've not kept it flat. We could quite easily have just gone right flat and circle with an outline of a bird shape, but we haven't. If you look, we've got the little eye detail, you've got feather detail within here. They almost look like they're sort of twittering away to each other, don't they? I've just realised why Twitter's called Twitter. I've just realised that. Because <laughs> the Twitter logo is the bird, isn't it? Mm. I'm still not on Twitter. <laughs> I'll take ever. But four pounds and ninety-five pence. I think these are absolutely beautiful. Hold the line. Stay with us. I can't believe that mind is blown. Da, da, da. I did not know we were doing this. A meter of chain. A continual one meter of chain. Not just any continual one meter of chain. Look at the site. How much weight is in this? That feels... This is an incredible amount of solid sterling silver. Wow. The linkage on this is dynamic. This is the largest link I think I've brought to you, genuinely in the last, uh, you know, the last year, honestly. I can't think of a time I've brought this large linkage unless it's been on the copper counterpart. This is not copper. I cannot sort of state that enough. Please do phone early on this one just because I think you're ace and I think you deserve to get something statement like this. This is a tray unisex um, chain, isn't it? I don't know why I went French for a minute there. <laughs> That's odd. But it is it's very very unisex um whether you're a you know a lady or a gent whether it's nighttime jewelry or day wear jewelry i think you've got this glamorous right let me i'm gonna be a right pain and just take it all the way off the spool i'll put it back on the reason i'm doing that is because i just want to remind you 10.82 grams approximately bracelet wise i'm looking at one bracelet there now I'm going to leave a little bit of space for the back, just to prove to you. A little bit of space at the back, there you are, there's the other bit of the chain. I'm going to leave probably, what, a centimetre at the back? Because obviously I need to put a clasp on there. So I've got here a bracelet's worth. That's for me, a bracelet's worth. One bracelet. How much would that weight in metal be as a bracelet? What would you say? £30, maybe? Because of the weight and because of the sizeability. Actually, if this was sold as like a charm bracelet base, you know the charm bracelet bases in sterling silver, they are ranging, they can be sort of £45 to sort of £85, depending on where you buy them. Let's say £40, just because of easy math. £40 times two, times three, four, five, six, and a good few sets of earrings, six bracelets, six bracelets for the price point um, for £40 each. I mean, that is fantastic. That's incredible, isn't it? It's not where I'm going, though, obviously, because we're <gasps> jewelry yeah, maker. Yeah. We are not your usual high street stores. We may be, well, we definitely don't work on the margins and the markups that high street stores have to, because you know they've got fully loaded chains, for example, all over the world. Um, we are bringing to you. £19.95 pence on way over 10 grams worth of precious metal. This for me is a multi-purchase opportunity. Well done to Paula and Jenna. Well done to Michelle and Judith and Mark and Beatrice. Well done to a collector in Merseyside, a collector in Kent and a collector in County Durham. Well done to you all. And now a lot of you have got this in your basket. Do make sure you're checking out just when you can because I don't have hundreds of these ones available. This is your sterling silver hour. It's also your under £20 sterling silver hour. So please, oh, also you get the, um, looking just shy of 40 inches you're getting on this. That's incredible. Oh, I am bringing, oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I've just dropped the bobbin. Do you know what I like about this recording? 
Mwah. I like that it goes to show you just how beautifully the light interacts on it because remember, what does silver do? Better than titanium, better than platinum shines light back to the eye so you have got that light interaction on this it's beautiful i'll just put it back on the spool because although the spool isn't maybe you might think much to mention <coughs> for us crafters you know how much we love a bobbin don't we <laughs> oh brilliant so i've got for you here that reusable base um hello to teresa how are you teresa what a lovely name um, Teresa Green, that is a band or a person, isn't it? Obviously it's a person. Teresa Green, a singer. I think it is. Is that right? Or is that just a tenant? Teresa Green. Mm, true. Mary's in, Julie's in, hello to um, a, a Tina, hello to a Ruth, hello to a Judith, hello to a Paula, hello to Rio, lovely name Rio. Um, I've got plenty of people with it in their baskets also, just to make you aware. So if you like it, then it's just worth checking out. Because remember for me that your half of my stock has gone, 50% of my stock has gone. So it's always worth sort of grabbing it whilst you can. Also, let me just remind uh, you, I've done plenty of things that will go great with this today and I've got plenty more coming up including I think this is just the most individual unique thing I have seen it really is uh, but yeah including let me just open this up for you uh, the, all the lovebirds on this would be lovely oh would you do a um what's the name with this what's it called a bubble style bracelet with this chain could you do that yes with chain? yeah you could do that you just have to basically um use a head pin and then whatever choice of gemstone you've got and then for every link you've got you attach either one or two um little wrap loops mm -hmm. and then you the overall effect is, is like a bubble style bracelet i'm just wondering if we've still got one yeah. Here. oh it's oh. behind you it's behind me <laughs> so this is there you go this is this is kind of what i mean that is beautiful Really lovely. So it's quite wedding y. So, how many of these do you think you'll have to put on each link? Um, I think to, to get look. a really full <coughs> bracelet, so you probably want two on each, on on each, each link. Every link. Yeah, I mean, you can go for more if you want, it's, it gives it a more um, sort of solid uh, design. But yeah. if you want it to move more, then mm. you can just get away with just the one. It's a gorgeous idea, yeah, isn't it? It's really pretty. Speaking of really pretty, this is the type of things that, you know, oh, they just speak volumes. This little envelope design you've got here, I think, is so pretty. The envelope design is something which is a lovely letter. Um, sorry, basis of, of, of wishes and gifts and things to come. And when you open this up, oh, it's got you're 95 happily ever after there. A letter inside. Now you have got a connector point here and a connector point here. So if you wanted to add it onto this chain, it's literally a jump ring and you sort it. You could have these as two separate things, almost like as a, you know, adult, you know, the hearts you used to get that split in half, you could have it as that maybe for your best friends. But actually I think for me, it's a beautiful gift to be able to warm together, but also something which we've got the hinge detail in here. That's extra workmanship you've had to have. And it's an extra mechanicalism, if you, if you will. I saw similar one, it was nine, at 79 pounds. Ours is under 20 today, as you well know. Thank you for that text. One of our, this one today is going under 20 because it's my sterling silver under 20 pounds hour. 17 pounds and 95 pence for way over six grams. That's just insane, isn't it? Isn't that just Incredible such a value. gorgeous gift? Yeah. It really is. And there's plenty of space on the back. It does say 95, but there's plenty of space on the back and on the envelope itself for you to engrave or for you to stamp in designs if you want to personalise it. There's a little loop there if you did want to keep it separate, maybe to add a birthstone. Happily Ever After is definitely a uh, sort of a uh, theme or a motto, let's say, of a bridal and a wedding day, isn't it? It's something that, you know, it's that kind of dreamlike thought. It's beautiful um, to be able to offer this and give this. And at £17.95, it really is just a beautiful finesse that I think we've got with this. This is so designer and it is an incredibly designer piece, I think. I've never seen anything like this. Oh! I thought that was the closing price. Fantastic. 
fantastic, truly, never seen anything like it. Even if, and I know this isn't, you know, sort of the most romantic of things to say, but even if you just think about creating that hinge detail, we have silversmiths here who talk to us about how many hours and hours and hours and hours and days and days and days and weeks and weeks of training, but hours to do, things like these hinges actually will take you, especially when it's what I refer to as like a streamline um, hinge. And what I mean by that is it's not kind of the two little hinges that clunk onto the outside, a bit like a door, do you know what I mean? It's almost a seamless streamline hinge. To do that takes serious amount of uh, engineering skill and, and sort of um, care and love and attention. And we are giving it away, says Sheridan. We're giving it away to you uh, today. Um, I think it really is something so interesting. Who would you give this to yourself? Who's this for for you? Your friend's getting married, Kerry. That's lovely. And you're going to be the maid of honour. Oh, yeah, we were talking about um, how I'm going to message a friend and ensure she makes you do a speech. <laughs> she would not do that to me, does Kerry. Um, yeah, I think if you did something like this for... What a gorgeous gift this would be if you are a... You know... Also, can I just say, too... Um, this, I think, would be a good one for Kerry. Because, Kerry, you watch a TV show that's called this, pretty much. Well, sort of. It's Once Upon a Time. <laughs> but, well, it's actually not even anymore. It's called Once, isn't it? It's called Once now. No one calls it that anymore. Yeah, apparently. Um, but... It has finished now, yeah. But they talk about living happily ever after in it, you know, constantly. Um, I remember when you went to the place they filmed it, yeah. Okay, so... Two chapels. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do the big pendant chapel first and then I've got the bracelet charms to match. Does that sound all right? I like this one, again. Oh. Back. I have got for you the key. You have got you have got the key. And when we think of weddings, we do think of, you know, having the key to someone's heart, don't we? What we've got here is the key to the chapel. And this is your lovely little chapel door. Now, what I have here for you is a beautiful locket opens up whereby you can pop with this chapel design, these beautiful doors, you could pop in there perhaps a photo of bride and groom, perhaps bride and groom's initials. You can keep in this locket uh, maybe a pressed flower. We actually did a resin kit on the morning show whereby we had little flowers, genuine flowers that were pressed down and we actually set them in resin. Imagine doing something like this. I think it is so beautiful for maybe mothers with the bride, maybe it's going to be gorgeous for... Uh, I think it's really lovely, the idea of, of doing... Um, let me open it. That's a good point, actually. Someone turning 21, yeah, someone who's just moved house, maybe. Yeah, you could do it for quite a few things, couldn't you? And um, it's not necessarily wedding exclusively, but yeah, you could definitely have it for a 21st or something like that. Two little gifts, separate them out if you wanted to. And actually, um, you know, you could maybe pop a little, um, you could maybe pop a little sort of picture of each of you in there or something like that, couldn't you? Also, it's very reflective that. I've just tried it as a mirror and it does work. <laughs> very reflective. Charms that go with it, oops, keeps calling for these ones, but I just want to show you them side by side because these are so cute, <laughs> so cute. 3.30 grams in the big one, I'm about to bring you the dainty ones there, let me just close that up so you can see that the design is mimicked beautifully. Oh, oh. oh that's, isn't that adorable? What a gorgeous gift that would go with. If you gave this as a main pendant, maybe to the bride, and then the bridesmaids had the little charms with the keys to go with it, don't you think that would be a beautiful gift? So the bride gets the largest and the little bridesmaids um, get the, the smaller, daintier ones. 
Now, what I have for you, well done if you did get that, um, a big gram weight in those ones. What I have for you here is three of the chapel doors and three of the keys. And you have got a really lovely intricacy of the chapel door, but also, I love the almost fairy tale key. I think that has such a lovely swirl and detail to it. Very, very um, noticeable. You've got three of these ones here. I think if you've got up to a 10 mil in there, um, in its length, so about a centimetre, you've got something lovely here. Who would you gift these to, Hannah, my love? Um, I, again, I think it, I might give it to somebody that's getting married. Mm -hmm. um, I know a few people who have got daughters that have now gone off to uni. So um, if you've got that lovely <sighs> chain that we were just they were showing yeah, on, the, on the, the reel earlier, yeah. you, I mean, what we said six, uh, six bracelets. bracelets. So how many, how many charms did you say? Three, of, three each. of each. So it's either three with two charms, or one with all of them, or or you can have an individual one. That's a great idea. Yeah. Lovely way of doing it. Yeah. Do you know what I've just thought too? Fairy doors. Oh yeah. Fairy doors. Because that's a big thing, so listen it. You can actually buy little fairy doors for your garden and you like put them onto trees or you put them on your plant pots, etc. And um you know, young people will, um, you know, they'll know that that's where the fairies live. That is kind of what you've got here. It's like a connection to, uh, you know, the, the fairy doors. Who fancies better than half price? <laughs> no. no. I like paying more for things. <laughs> All right, go on. We're going to do better than half price. Ten ninety-five. Three chapels. Through all your fairy doors and three of your beautiful ornate happily ever after rings. Ten ninety-five usually. Ten ninety-five come eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So if you are watching on the repeat, do seize the moment and grab the fairy doors whilst you can. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. A better than half price deal we've got for you on these ones now. They do, I think, for that price point. I mean, we're talking about six charms here, six individual charms for four ninety-five. We're looking at what eighty something p um, per one for you. And um, you know, you could use so much with these. For example, you know, the jump rings that I did for you earlier on in the silver um you know those ones are silver plated base metal but you could do that you could also um maybe use it as we've said with this chain i'll just show you the sort of size of this just to give you an idea of how it kind of looks size wise actually quite like that size wise i think it looks quite good yeah this it, doesn't it you just need jump rings and that's it yeah that's it four pounds 95 for you today and you're getting 95 sterling silver and you have only got oh six seconds left on this one so four pounds and 95 pence please do check it out whilst you can three sets with the pairs um people are already asking about this we're going to be learning how to start creating this with lovely hannah in about half hour ish 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 and for I have not seen these in a year and a half. Do you like this connector? I think it's beautiful. I like this as a connector. As a connector, I think it's beautiful. I like it even more when you work out it's a magnet. Oh my god! How cool is this? So I'm about to bring you your magnet connectors here. Let me move them out of the way because you can see how magnetic they are. So you're getting a really strong, sturdy magnet. You're then getting this beautiful texture, which is almost... Uh, da -da -da. Oh my goodness, it's almost Greek mythology, almost. You know, when you sort of think of Midas, uh, not Midas specifically, it's that kind of texture that I'm thinking of, though. I'm, I'm uh, almost like your polymer clay designs. Uh, you know, the moulds that you get that create those... Uh, who am I thinking of? Medusa, yeah, that kind of Medusa shape. And then actually, you have got your clasp there. Magnetic clasp, mega, mega strong, as you can see. Okay, already there are people dialing through because you know we're about to bring those graphics in. Your graphics are coming live right now. There they are. You are getting solid sterling silver magnetic clasp. And as you may well have noticed, you're getting two of these. Now, this is beautiful and mega, mega, mega secure. So secure and easy peasy to open. 
So let me just remind you, when you get the rounded ones, you normally sort of uh, move and slide. And actually with these ones, what you do is you kind of uh, twist them apart almost. So you just literally take one to the side and one to another. So this little nook section in here is where you get the connector sitting. So obviously the connector actually sits in line with it. Wow! It's been ages since I've seen these. I actually forgot we did anything like them. £12.95 for two. Wait, no. Sheridan, my producer's going, I can do better than that. So I'm going to. We have been bringing to you so many goodies, so many treats, and this is so the time to react. I have done for you in this under £20 sterling silver hour an incredible deal, an incredible opportunity, and at £12.95, it's good, but I'm about to make this Tony the Tiger great. <laughs> They're great. Well done to Hertfordshire and Cheshire and for £9.95 is your deal on that one. That is for two of them. So these working out, well, just shy of a five for each. This is such a gorgeous look. What a great connection point to be able to have. Perfect bracelet size as well. Also, because they are, get away from each other. Sorry, I have to keep them this far apart because they just keep connecting, as you can see. Very strong magnets we've got going on in here. Um, but with these ones being flattened, um, I would say for your bracelet design is perfect because sometimes your round ones can maybe become a bit clunky. Well done to sensational Sandra bewitching B uh, B Beatrice. Hello to fabulous Frida. You're in um, um, Joyous Julie. I've got, um, what's that? A positive A word. Not amazing. I've used that today. Animated. Ooh, animated Annette. I have got here for you the, um, the tap. Ooh, ta tactile Tina. <laughs> I've got for you the creative Caroline in. I've got the marvellous Mazza. I've got loads of you in, actually. And um, these are beautiful, I think. What do you think of them, Hannah Love? I, I really like them. I think if you bought any of the pearls from earlier, they're going to go fantastically well with those. Um, because they've got that Which nice ones? The big ma um, the the metallics. I, well, yeah, I like the metallics. Beavers, but uh, yeah, yeah the, the, any of them, really. Um, but because it's uh, got a nice flat design as well, and it's such a strong magnet, you, that's a clasp that could sit nearer the, the front of the design as well. Well. Great idea. Actually, showing them with the B was because the B was a center drill, it, it actually works quite nicely with the fact that the clasp is central. That makes sense. Does that make sense? I think it does in my mind. But if I just tilt that up for you, do you know what I mean? That sort of works, doesn't it? Isn't it crazy that the pole of that is actually pulling? That's how good the magnet is. Because I've got this one so far away. So. Um, but that, I think you're totally right. It yeah. works really nicely. Stunning. Those yeah. Biwa pearls that we took to a knockout, never before seen price, under £20, are still available, but we don't have a huge amount. I really encourage you to get yourself onto jewelrymaker.com and just have a little look at some of the deals we've done for you in the past hour or so because they've been loop de loop. Flutterbys, I'm going to bring to you now. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, they're being undid to me. So, butterfly. I'm going to bring in a bit, but before that, I'll do some true love. Me, me, me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the hearts. Oh. My goodness. Do you remember when Tiffany did the Come Back to Tiffany campaign working with all of the diamonds? These are the kinds of designs I was expecting, and I saw in their advertising campaign. Wow! They are glamorous and glitzy as you like. That has got the Tiffany-esque feel. It's almost even got the padlock section on the top, you know, as you think of with that well-known logo. This is diamond-like sparkle, impressively parve set in these ones. So when you're getting that gorgeous setting, you get a smoothness and a finesse, but it also sort of plays with the light beautifully. I am bringing you both of these, not at $27.95. We're actually going to drop it today, as obviously, because just in case you've just tuned in. Hi, how are you? It's lovely to be with you today. My name is Rebecca Reddicum, but you can call me Becky. And I am bringing to you under £20 sterling silver hour right now. So do get ready, get raring. 
$14.95. That's for both of these. Don't they look like hundreds of pounds worth? If these were diamonds, wouldn't you be talking about a fair few hundreds of pounds worth in each one of these, actually? But you're getting that beautiful diamond-like quality with that cubic zirconia. And do remember, as I've spoken about a few times, you know, I've shown you these slides um, before talking about the likes of man-made gemstones and talking about um, you know sort of cubic zirconia and about how De Beers have now entered into the synthetics you know industry and how it's sending sort of the world into shockwaves really and therefore how we're expecting the prices to in essence escalate for any of your man-made or synthetic um, you know especially when they have this characteristic is this a gift for you and your best friend? Is this just a gift for your earrings? <laughs> for your ears? <laughs> oh, I've treated you to a gift. They could be perfect earrings They there, would be I lovely think. earrings, actually, yeah. Sterling silver shepherd hooks, and that's it. Yeah, it's a piece of lemon squeezy, like you showed us in the first demo. Yeah, had to attach. Good work, I've got coming up the butterfly. Oh, this is lovely with that chain. If you wanted to do mixed metal, what about doing it with this chain? I mean, mixed metal's not for everyone, so I have got a stone silver chain for you, but I like it. Let me get the centre point of this chain. I did this chain for you earlier on, if you've just tuned back in, isn't it gorgeous? Stone silver and rose gold. If you want mixed metals, I think that works quite nicely. If not, use that metres worth of chain I did for you, um, over 10 grams in that metres worth of chain, um, to create something beautiful. The butterfly, I think, is a fantastic design. I think uh, the butterfly and the story it tells is, is one of wonderment. It's one of the story and the lifespan. Um, you know, butterflies going um, and becoming a caterpillar and going into cocoon and, you know, coming out the other side as this beautiful, ornate creature that flutters and flies and spreads its wings. What you have here, what you have here is an astonishing sizeability of your beautiful um you know butterfly you've got a serious two and two and a bit centimeters worth in the length from actually sort of tip of wing to tip of wing the chain by the way is coming in at the bottom of your screen you have got a serious sizeability on this one a two by one at the longest point so that's dramatic for a pendant isn't it it really makes a statement doesn't it mm. it's lovely you can keep this as is, but of course you've got that wonderful open design. Now the openness of this makes it actually quite difficult to recreate. Say you wanted to do this in, you know, your silver clay even. That would be really difficult to do because you have the opportunity of snapping those points. So it takes a lot of skill to actually be able to recreate something like this. What you have with it and with that beauty and with that openness though, gives you the opportunity to actually use it as almost a connector. Drape things from these, add little gemstones to this if you wanted to. Use your serolin in with this. Seven pounds and 95 pence for that size sizeability is good, but Wow, we're going under a fiver. Okay, there you go. Plot spoiler alert. I've told you it's going under a fiver. Dial now to make sure you get them. Sheridan's giving you the deals tonight. I tell you that for nothing. Um, we have got for you here a fantastic, fantastic look and beauty with these ones that is just, you know, really wearable. And I will just say, if I hold it to the side, you can see the sort of movement to it. It's not just flat. It's got this lovely wave to it, which plays wonderfully with the light. What's your right? idea with this as a creative are you going to keep it simple but what if you wanted to do something elaborate could you well I mean, because it's um, got sort of the filigree design you could mm. work through the butterfly itself you could do some wire or you could do some uh, fire line or something like that mm. um, I quite like the idea you know we're talking about putting resin in the in the gaps so you can change the like color of it star. Mm. Um, I quite like, yeah you know like you could mix it up a bit yeah. Um, I really do like the idea of just having one there, though, uh, and then maybe if you bought more, like more of them, you could then make yourself a pair of earrings as well. So Lovely idea. then you've got your little collection of butterflies. At four ninety-five as opposed to eight pounds, it's now the time to do it if you it wanted is, a, a yeah. what are they called again? A kaleidoscope of butterflies. Mm. <laughs> Lobster. Oh wow! Lobster claw clasps. You can see Stone Silver a mile off, can't you? you can. It's the way that light just gives you intrigue. So, 
For someone who's new, what do we like about a lobster claw class, please, Hannah Malof? Um, just the security, really. The fact that uh, you know that your piece of jewellery is going to be nice and secure and mm -hmm. it feels nice as well. It's, it's easy to wear. Yeah. Um, it, it's just, it's essential, really. And mm -hmm. at 95, uh, it's, it's also um, hypoallergenic, isn't it? So if you have any kind of uh, problems with wearing metals, I think sterling silver is the, is the one that pretty much everyone is safe with. Yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah, it's a bit of security on, on several levels, really, yeah. as well as being a luxury metal. Mm -hmm. So it adds value to your, to your work as well. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely adding that value. But actually, when you think 9.95, I thought this was your standard size pack of 10, making it a pound each, but it's actually not. This is your 15-piece pack. And in that 9.25, for over, you know, for over five grand, but also for that workmanship, you know, it is incredible, isn't it? If I'm just sort of you can see there's a lot of action to this there's a lot of movement to it um, but remember although it is a clasp you can do it for so much more a little phone charm a little handbag charm maybe if you're anything like me um, and you break zips off stuff all the time I say all the time not all the time but you know a good few times I like my suitcase at the moment that I travel around with has got zero zips on it none little zip pulls something like this hook it into the you know base where maybe it's come off what a gorgeous gift to someone who's maybe going traveling that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can put you could put any of the charms on it as well, couldn't you? So, yeah. so you could attach a, a charm on a clasp, and then you can attach that to whatever piece of jewellery or or like uh, accessory that you like. Of course, switch yeah. it in and out. Yeah. Okay. Next up, I'm about to bring to you a serious amount of chain. Um, chain, of course, we're always going to love. Stardust bees, bees. Beads. We're also <laughs> always going to love. Are we bringing this as a Stardust star by? Did I hear? Let's do it. Right here, right now. Star by. There is something so nice about just being able to pop on a chain over your head and you're ready and wearing to go. When you are getting that workability at this time of year of just sort of throwing it on, it's so important. If you've got a big heavy jacket, it's this time of year where I become a bit of a kerfuffle. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, become, I forget the way layers work. <laughs> what I mean by that is, you say for example, you put your jumper on, you put your bag on, I wear an over the shoulder bag, you put your bag on, then you put your coat on, then you get in and you, you go to get your bag and you've remembered that you've got your coat on over the top and it's a kerfuffle because there's so many layers, you've got big chunky knitwear. Now I know this is not just me, is it Hannah? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you've got this big chumpy, chunky uh, knitwear, you want something that is sturdy enough to cope with the changing temperatures, with you sort of changing your clothing and things like that. This, with the ease of placing it on and taking it off, because it's a 32-inch chain, makes it so perfect for this time of year, I think. I want my long chains at this time of year. That's what I like. I like my big long chains that, you know, I know I can pop my scarf on top of or even underneath, and it doesn't matter because the security and the strength is going to be there, but also the the dynamism of length, you know, there is something quite dramatic, isn't there, about a 32-inch chain. It was actually Gabrielle uh, Chanel who said that she believed that the 13th chain was the most glamorous of lengths. The longer the chain, the better. And one of the reasons for that, she said, is because of what it made the eyes do. So if you are wearing a 32-inch chain, you are going to be drawing attention to the centre of your body. So because you're drawing attention to the centre of your body, you know, it's sort of the slender part of your body, isn't it? It's almost like when you get the bodycon dresses. You know, bodycon dresses and bandage dresses that kind of, you know, draw attention to the central section. That's what this kind of thing can do. And that's what Gabrielle Chanel believed. And if, if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. You have got a fully fledged piece here. The clasp is attached at 32 inches, the price. £14.95 for way over four grams. 
when I first brought to you our 16 or 18 inch chain, these were the prices we were doing for solid sterling silver. The first time I actually brought you a to chain, it was £325. It was in gold, but still, for the design. What I'm bringing to you here at £14.95 is way over what I would normally expect. This is almost double the originals that I was bringing to you, yet actually we're mimicking that price. It's the better friendships, it's the better connections, it's the fact that we are bringing to you, remembering that silver is just going up in price, and also that we know come sort of November, December, we usually see price hikes in silver because supply and demand for Christmas. Also remembering that, you know, people in the industry are well aware that come, oh, I don't know, let's say March uh, next year, there might also be some political things going on and, that, you know, things like that do actually raise the prices of silver. It's all well worth keeping your eyes on things like silver prices. As a general rule, year after year, it will just continually go up and up and up. Don't get me wrong, some days they will drop lower than other days. But as a general rule, if you look back over the last dex, uh, decade, you just see this escalation in price. And you can actually, I showed you a graph before actually of the, the price hike over the last 10 years. You have got 14 pounds, 95 pence for you today. 32 inches for 14.95. I'm not quibbling with that price point at all. However, we're not staying there. Okay, grab the phones and make sure you're taking the opportunity on this one. I genuinely cannot think I've brought you a 32 inch chain at this price. I really can't. Ping! 9,095 pence. That is actually your closing deal. This is for an elaborate, dramatic look. This is for 4.30 grams. This is for that beautiful venture chain, which is so open. You can use your charms on this, your pendants on this. You've got enough uh, length to do on this. A full, like, birthstone necklace, couldn't you? Wow, yeah. You've got the open links in here, which means if you wanted to snip this up into sections, you absolutely could. At 9.95, that is a massive amount isn't it and if I just remind you um, ba -ba -da, sort of the lengthage lengthage oh who knows <laughs> I, I like it when I accidentally make up words do you no oh, it does happen a lot yeah <laughs> do you remember that day I forgot do you remember that day I forgot what a school was called learning town <laughs> oh my gosh so odd I'm peculiar anyway um, 10 inches is at this point, so I've got 10 inches, 20 inches, oh sorry, I'm meant to be doing it in centimetres. So I have got here 30, 60, look at that, 81 centimetres worth. Oh, you can't see it. Oh yeah, it says it there. Since when have we started doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that is, either way, it's nice just to get out of the rule of truth, isn't it? You have got um, Ooze in with us today. Hey up, Cheshire, how are you? I've got Cheshire in, I've got Glamorgan in, I've got Helena in, hello to you. I've got Donna in, hello to Tina. I've got um, Collector again in County Um I've also got Cornwall in and Powell's in and, and Tynan Weir in with us. Greater Manchester, you're in. I've got another uh, Cheshire in with us as well. How to Surrey, it's great to have you. Multi buyers up. Up, uh, north, down, north, south. <laughs> <laughs> north, down, left and west. Um, you're coming in from all over. Hello to you all. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget 0800 644 655. If you dial through and you press 1, you'll get through to a person. An actual person. Only a few, down, a, a few roads down, eh? few roads down because you know as well it's important to remember isn't it that um you know when you're coming through with this it's not like when you have to buy online and you have to pay all the extra taxes and everything to get it through which is fab how's about i add some sparkle to your life stardust sparkle i did the bigger version of these quite big version of these actually on the mid show if you morning show if you wanted them oh the stardust space bead is it takes a lot of work. This is not just about burnishing it or brushing it to get that finish. 
it is a bow using this with diamond tips. You have to really, really work these ones. Nine ninety five. What do you think about these ones, please, Hannah? Um, I really like these as uh, kind of like little wish bracelets. You know, oh. you know, we just have like one on yeah. uh, like um an S1 cord or an Emo cord or something like that and then you can give them to all your friends and then I think the idea is that you all make a wish and then mm -hmm. when one actually breaks that's when the wish comes true Absolutely. so sometimes it can last for years yeah but you, but you almost sort of forget that they're there yeah I, I really like that idea I, think, it's really I sweet. think that's such a sweet idea mm -hmm. and I think with the personality of these 20 pieces is a great idea 9.95 60p each I like it a lot but today we have just been giving you deal after deal after deal this evening I don't know if you've noticed I'm sure you have the amount of times I've said half price better than half price discount money off etc we are taking this down from 60p each to Ooh. oh 60p each or would you rather 35p each Six pounds and ninety-five pence. You've got one minute to win this, and that means that after one minute, we are moving on. We have got the web bidders. You came in very, very quickly. Telephone bidders. You are now ringing through. It's a free phone number, even off your mobile phone nowadays, which is always fantastic. And at JewelryMaker.com as well. You can also get us on the app if you so wish. The amount of beauty these are going to give, because they're just shy of half a centimeter each, aren't they? So what you have here is about 10 centimetres worth of full beauty and full bracelet. You know, I think this is going to create for you a centre bar for maybe your sliders. Could look really pretty, couldn't it? Also, I'm thinking for bridal, these may be in a tiara twist or even size-wise. I like it with these ones, if I'm honest. Size-wise, I like it with these ones. I did these for you earlier on. Um, these were, of course, my amazing nucleated pearls. Could you believe I went under £60 on these? I actually went under 40. There are still a few available if you wanted them. Well done to all of you on those. Okay, it is time to head in to a break. Like this beauty? We're going to learn how to create it and there's some last chance saloons, which means miss it, miss out deals coming up after this break. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. Wake up and tune into Jewellery Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code, to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker the one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know that when you book a jewelry maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewelry maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. 
For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. At Jurymaker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. show an hour in fact of your winter wedding fair oh wow can I just show you my mic sounds weird does it it's not rubbing on anything oh it's Sheridan passing somewhere oh I see let me show you oh my goodness these coming up top of the hour when you are looking for pearls that have taken years to create these are the types of things you're looking for aren't they this is your stunning star buy coming up for you before the end of this hour um, one of our final deals of this hour and in fact of this day so if you like bargains and deals you're in the right place and if you want to be inspired call blimey governor you're in the right place because honestly i have never ever seen a piece like this in my life but it is so so captivating the piece we're going to be making today i am blown away by the individuality of it wow this is this another kit you made hannah yeah yeah Ooh, <laughs> tell me about why you made this incredible deco drama kit I well, mean, I wow just, i just had this idea basically of of a kind of a moving uh, a headdress or headpiece or something that you could wear that was a bit kind of deco-ish so so it had gone for the sort of the, the fan-esque shape yeah um and the colors i think as well quite quite sort of symbolic of that, that kind of era mm. um it is actually a hair comb so uh i don't know i just i just had this thing in my head that it needed to move and it needed to have the fan and be sparkly but you know, not too difficult to, to actually put in if you were making it to wear for yourself. Yeah. You know? um, and I came up with that, so <laughs> I, I, oh, I think it works. <laughs> it, oh my goodness, it completely does. It's all of the decadence. And what I love about this kit is, as long as you've got your needle and threaded material, which I know you have oodles of, everything else you need for it is right here, including the backing foundation, which this wonderful hair comb is on. You are going to be getting a big piece of the um, backing foundation, which we will talk more about because I know we're working with it. You've also got the wonderful seed beads in here. So I'm going to be ringing to you. Your 11 O's in the amber, so nice and rich. I'm ringing to your 8 O's in the light bronze, the 8 O's in the metallic, sorry, black, um, opaque black, and then the silver lined in the 6 O's. So you have got here some very usable sizes, three different sizes that just create drama. Black and gold is, is dramatic, it's elegant, it's expensive. Some of the biggest designers in the world actually have black and gold as their colour schemes, you know, in their boxes, etc. 
you have got here a really wonderful look and beauty and a real glamour. You have got here this wonderful quality. You've got this big drama. You've got that wonderful quality of that luxury look and it matches your hairpins. Uh, hairpins? Your hair combs. These are perfect that you can actually use them in many, many, many different ways. You can use it in like actual as a hair component if that makes sense as well like this so you have the opportunity to use that actually as a hair accessory as well so the price point that is currently on your screen is for the five combs the four big tubes and the backing foundation yeah the price point on your screen oh hey, you're toppling it all over it's not Jenga Bex, you're on telly. Uh, we have got for you here a price point which is already very much a jewelry maker price point. You know, it's already a really good deal, but I'm not stopping there. We are bringing you your deco drama today with your foundation sheet and your hair combs. £25.95. How much do you think a bride would pay for that to be custom made for her? I'm bringing you the Swarovski, by the way, as an add-on in a little bit, but we wanted to bring you the seed beads so that you could choose, you know, do you want it all together? Do you want something a little bit more um, maybe subdued? Look at those qualities of colours you're getting in these seed bead tubes. There's oodles of different texture almost with the opaque, with the lined and with the metallic seed beads in there as well. And I suppose also, um, also, I think the different sizes almost gives you different texture. Would you agree with me on that? Yeah, Hannah? absolutely. I, th I think it all adds to the um, the interest when you put them all together. Um, yeah. You just get that that lovely sort of undulation, um, and because it's different uh, versions of sort of golds and bronzes to, like in there, that, that, the whole thing I think just sparkles and it's got a lovely kind of um, glamour to it. Def oh, glamour is so yeah. the right word yeah. for it. <laughs> and look at how the, it all just works in beautifully together. It is expensive, it is high-end, it's definitely got that deco drama about it, but also I could see you maybe adding in different colours with these from your stash as well to, because you've got so many of the metallics here and your base colour of the opaque black, which we don't get to see that often, but as you can see it really does work as a basis and as an outline, I think you've got something that is going to sit really nicely at home within your stash, so do grab it whilst you can. Now I've also got for you the opportunity to get the Swarovski cup chain and the Swarovskis which I'll bring with me. They are on the web at the moment. Um, but let me just bring over my precious pearls as well because <laughs> they are so pretty. I don't want to let them go. I'm going to hand that to you, lovely Hannah. There you are. Oh, that one minute. What? That's fine. Um, um, Sheridan. Sheridan producer Sheridan. You've written us a little note there. Guaranteed price drop coming up on what? <gasps> you have already done a price drop on the kit, haven't you? Amazing. Oh, this is. We are about <laughs> to do. <laughs> I like her thinking. <laughs> Sharon's going, you've done a double. Hannah's not feeling very well. I'm going to do comfort pricing. <laughs> You know, because you can't snuggle up with a duvet, Hannah, and have an Orlix. We're going to give you comfort pricing. <laughs> I've already given you a price drop there. If you do want to get this, just remember, everybody pays the final closing price. And that the original price point on this was just shy of £40, which is fab, isn't it? Isn't it's it? amazing. Amazing. You get so much. And, and there's so much left, again, because I, I've gone heavy on a, a couple of pieces rather than multiple pieces. There's so much left. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, you have got here twenty five ninety five, but there's a dropping price to come. Look at how gorgeous this cuff is as well, Hannah. That pattern. Oh, sorry. Okay, that yeah. pattern is beautiful, isn't it? Thank you. So that that was basically uh, messing about with um, some peyote paper um, that you can, you can ah, yes. print off the internet for free I've things like that, um, cool. and just playing with ideas of, of, of sort of something a bit geometric, a bit deco looking, beautiful. but to show you could like, you know you, you can do traditional seed beading with it if you choose to. And we are going to talk about the seed beads more now to help recreate this. So if you have any questions for Hannah, maybe you've not tried this out 
that before you have or you, you maybe want to troubleshoot something, do feel free to text in 60777. Start your text with the word JM Studio. Um, and do feel free to let us know what album you've listened to today for your National Album Day. We'd love to hear from you. And um, am I right in saying what we really need to add to this, as well as our Swarovski Cup chain coming up in a bit, is your thread and your needles. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much it. Yeah. That's so. Let's get ready and ready okay. to go. So um, what, I, what I've done, I started off with the, the backing foundation and I actually drew around the bottom of a cup uh -huh. to get myself a circle. Got you. And then I've cut that in half. And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to work on one piece and then use the other to hide all the work at the back. And that makes it nice and neat. Got you. Um, yeah. So essentially, it's just um, stitching, just doing back stitch. I'll come to these in a second. Um, so I've just tied a little knot in the back, um, passed it through to the front and attached some beads and I'll, and I'll show how I've done that. Um, ideally, if you can add as, uh, just two each time, then you get a much neater line. Um, if you're trying to do this a bit quicker, you might want to add up to four um, and then come up between the centre two. Mm -hmm. So I'm just adding two, passing the needle through to the back mm -hmm. and then you're going to push the needle back up but you want to try and hit the centre point of those two beads. Okay. And then you pass the needle through the front bead again. And you're going to add that. I'm going to see if I can go a little bit quicker by adding a few more. Obviously, this, this won't be as tidy um, because the more time you spend over getting these beads exactly in the right place, the, the nicer it will look. Mm. But I'm just trying to uh, give you a good example. So adding on four this time, coming up roughly in the centre and then go through the second half of your beads. So depending on how, depending on how confident you are with your stitching, you can go ahead like that and carry on with the four because it's faster. <laughs> what are you chuckling at, Anna? I'm being told it's okay to take my time and not to worry. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to carry on just stitching these on to start with. And then Obviously, I'm going to go all the way around to the edge, so one, two, three, four. I'm trying to keep it in view so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Just holding it. Again, I would recommend if you're doing this for yourself or if you're doing it as a commission for any kind of party, that, yeah, do just a couple of beads at a time and then it does look much neater than this is. Just passing through. But you can see it's forming a little kind of um, barrier around the edge. One, two, three, four. I'll go all the way around with this and then it's the same technique with the other colours but I'll just show you the um, the rest of the embellishment as well. Okay. And in fact, I've got the rest of the embellishment um, on pre-order for you. So just to let you know, if you do want the Swarovski cut chained and the so on, which we'll talk more about in a bit, then um, it is on pre-order for you. But we're still guaranteeing another price drop on this kit. Um, just to remind you, it was shy of £40 and uh, we're going to do another price drop on it in a bit. So add it to your order because everybody pays the final closing low price. It's going to be an amazing price, actually, by the sounds of things. Just going to pass this through here. Okay. Am I all right to do the whole row? Of course you are. For that one. Of course you are. So, passing this through. Again, adding four up through the center point or as close as you can. Through the last two. And you can see how the silver lining on these are beautifully. They, they add a little extra personality, don't they? They do. I, I really like the silver lined ones, actually, just because mm. they really bounce the light around and mm. they're, they're proper sparkly. But this is, this is why I wanted a combination of the gold so that you get all the, the different sort of tones. It's a bit like um, autumnal trees, isn't it? You know, they're, they're all sort of fundamentally similar colours mm. but the slight tonal difference makes all you know you get all that lovely sort of vista if you look across like the top of trees and things this time of year so partly inspired by that and partly by uh, the roaring 20s <laughs> 
pipe passing through here, so almost round to the other edge. So that is very quickly and crudely stitched on. I'm just going to add a couple more there. Pass it through here. Mm -hmm. Try not to tangle them up too much. Okay, and the beauty of this kind of design is that all of the working will eventually be hidden. So as long as you pass your needle through to the back, you can then put it anywhere you like here and it won't, it won't matter. So I've already added a couple of these sort of little um, pear drops on. On the actual design, I think I've put five, but for in the interest of speed for the demo, adding three. Because these are the, the sew-on ones, they have mm -hmm. the holes either side. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to position that where I want it. So it's about there. These so ones, you get five of the ones we're working with at the minute. Yeah, I've got the other two there. And again, this is more luck than judgment, trying to find the, uh, <laughs> the hole through which to, st to stitch. So I'm just going to do a couple of stitches through each of the holes. Mm -hmm. Just looking to see where I've stitched before. Like that, and again, just kind of having a little look to just check it's roughly where I want it to be, and then stitch up through. Oops, move that slightly. A couple of stitches is enough to hold it in place, and then you can embellish around it or um, secure it with more stitching later if you choose to. Okay, so that's a framework to start with, <coughs> and then I'm just going to come over to the edge again. Um, and on this design, I think I've actually put um, some of this amazing chain. Oh, I love this chain. So there's so, there's so much of this chain. Mm. Um, again, you have to go a lot slower with this piece. So what you're trying to do is stitch between the segments. So the little tiny cubes, and you can just, as long as your stitch goes over the top, through the backing and up again, it will secure it in place. So I'm just going to... Hold it there, like that, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that I can hold it still enough to show you what I'm doing without tangling myself up. So, because the segments move, you just need to push that little section out so that the stitch goes through the middle. And then again, you want this as close as you can to the edge, and by edge, I mean the previous row of stitching. Again, I'm going to fold that across and just as close as you can. The cup chain with the sew ones are on pre order, don't forget. Okay, and I'm just going to carry on a little bit. Again, passing the needle up through as close as you can without, um, without passing your thread over the top of any of the crystals because what you want to do is keep all the stitches hidden as best you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like this, so you can see it's kind of, it's, oh it's, it's slower, but it's, um, it's an effective um, end point, so it's worth it. Definitely, with all of that sparkle. Wow. So I'm just wondering if I just tack this on to, in the interest of speed. Yeah, go yes. ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to... It doesn't half add something, doesn't it? doesn't half add. Can you see it all here? Look at that. <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Who's ready for a price drop? £40 worth it should have been. Well, just shy, actually. £40 worth is good. For this amount of, of, of um, seed beads, for this amount of backing foundation, for the five hair combs. I'm doing you another price drop. Should have been just shy of £40. Today, though, for you, everybody's paying um, the lowest price point we can possibly do on this today. You ready? I think this is a fantastic price. When you see what's been made with it. £21.95. This is a That's really brilliant. good opportunity. Four big tubes, five of the hair combs, backing foundation sheet. That is a lot of goodies in there, you isn't You do there? get a lot of goodies. And um, because of that, you can make, like, all of these could be hair combs. So, so you, you've got plenty of beads to go. 
Oh, you, you, yes, cool. So you can do, you just keep going. So then what you had left over. Yeah. Wow. So, so this is what I mean. I mean, it's, it's just there's so much in the kit that you you can have a full on deco party if you like, and then make all of your girls a hair comb if you fancy. That's a great idea. Why not? Yeah, completely. Because they are a beautiful, dramatic colour for that. Twenty one pounds and ninety five pence. Good work to you, Helena and Eleanor. Oh, Samantha and Christine. <laughs> No, it didn't really. That doesn't quite work the same. No. Way. no. Oh well. <laughs> um, I've also got um, Michelle and Mandy in. Hello to you. Um, I have got uh, Victoria in with me as well on this one. Um, people with it in the baskets, as always, do feel free to check out whilst you can. And remember, I'm bringing you the uh, cup chain now. Um, and that is what the lovely Hannah is currently just tacking into place before yeah, we carry just on so with that the it doesn't design. Get in the way, really. Yeah, so we will carry on with the design in a moment, but she needs to tack it all into place. And this is so expensive looking. If that or something similar to that was, you know, given as an engagement ring, you would think that someone had spent hundreds and hundreds. It's so it is pretty. Beautiful, isn't it really is. If you think about having to set each one of these and how much time that might take you, and if you think that uh, on top of that, how much of a drama that gives to you, because it really does. Something simple. We don't have to go wild in, in the aisles with something like this. We can keep it really, really simple. We don't have to go over the top or obtuse. You can just uh, keep it beautiful as it is because the sparkle itself does the talking. But you have got plenty of this in here, as um, Hannah is showing us, to create a real uh, talking point. It's brand new in stock. I personally have never seen this size at all before. And not just with the, col uh, the colours, actually, just the size full stop and I think it's a lovely opportunity for you to be able to see just how you can do something very dainty or you can really build up the full 50 centimeters worth to be able to get that wonderful luxury glow you know and um, as well as those varnas <laughs> oh so on these look so magical um I think pretty much every single color of the rainbow I can see in this can you red Yellow, pink, green, purple, orange, blue. Can you see an indigo as well? Yeah, of course you can. Right there in the bottom corner of the one I'm looking at, indigo. 23.35, I like it, however. Can I just remind you of something? And this is something that's, um, I suppose, quite easy to work out, but we don't really mention it that often. So, you know how our prices end in 95? When we do bundles like this, let's say we've got two things ending in 95 and we put them together, they're obviously not ending in 95 anymore, they're ending in 90. What the fact that you've got two different products here, because this is a bundle in, in essence, it goes to prove, because that's not a 90 at the end, that at least one of these things has been dropped by a certain percentage. So already that is proof on screen that this is actually not your should be price. This is actually already a discount deal. We could just leave it there for that reason, but we're not going to. You are getting five of the sew-ons. You are getting that lovely uh, sort of 50 centimeter length of the um, Aurora Borealis. And today, that is a fantastic deal um, at 19 pounds and 95 pence, I think. I mean, you That's made incredible. this. incredible, yeah. You that... made these bundles, Hannah. You obviously don't set the prices. No, no. So um, we, we put a guide price on there yeah. and then it's up to the producer to decide what the right price point is. And, yeah. Um, I, I really think that is an incredible value. Yes. It, I, it's, it's, it's definitely one that I'm going to be uh, going back for myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not surprised, actually, because at 1995, you know, with Hannah making this kit and um, Hannah setting the guide price on this kit, she knows where it should have been sitting. But 1995 <laughs> pence today is a beautiful opportunity, especially with these five. I would be more than happy to pay that for this cup chain alone, actually. I think, I think it's so I think it's actually like the cup chain is, is one of these things that um, again because of jewellery maker prices we get used to things being um, incredible value and I yeah. think people sort of forget that if you do a, do a bit of hunting on the internet or elsewhere that uh, the, the prices that we bring are incredibly good value yeah. they really are very very special 
very special prize points that we do here for you, especially on things like kits and bundles. You know, we're able to give you a little bit of added leeway, and yet the quality is still very good. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. But yeah. I mean, look how beautiful that is just on its own. Beautiful, isn't it? A huge well done. And remember, we could just add a clasp on the end of this if we wanted to. We've shown you a few times how you can use a cup chain, and you can, you almost open the prongs, and then you might pop a little bit of wire in there to add your clasp on. Of course, though, you can just sew a clasp on if you wanted or use them in the exact way that Hannah's showing us now to elevate your designs alongside your seed beads or your pearls and speaking of pearls the pearls the pearls they're stunning aren't they they're coming up straight after this demo it's everything you want more for me it was, well, I mean, I was going to think of a specific designer then who've done diamonds and pearls together, but it's pretty much everyone Everybody. you can think of, Everybody, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we're thinking Dior, we're thinking of your um, Versace, we're thinking of your Chanel, your Tiffany, pretty much anyone you can think of. That diamond and pearl look is beautiful. So, Hannah's just finished tacking on this, and we're going to move on to the next step forward. Yeah, so, um, I... Again, the, lo the longer you spend doing this, the neater it will be. Mm. Um, and then all I've done is I've passed the needle through the back and then I've come out of the bottom uh, hole in the pear shape mm -hmm. here. And I'm using some of these lovely um, kind of amber gold coloured beads. Love those. Um, and I'm just doing the same kind of technique. So I've picked up three for this one. So you want it to sit kind of on top of that stone if mm -hmm. you can, ever so slightly. Because that um, kind of hides it a bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does hide it a little bit. I mean, you can add more embellishment afterwards. Mm. And then I've just gone through to the back. And again, I'm going to try and pass the needle up somewhere in the middle of those, if that sort of set of three. Um, and then miss out the first bead and go back down through the last two. And then you're kind of, you're kind of, it's almost drawing lines with beads. So I'm going to add on the number that I'm going to, well, it's, it's however many you need to reach the, the base of your semicircle. So in this case, I think it's probably actually four. Mm -hmm. And then stitch it at the very bottom here. And then what I wanted to do with this design is make it look like the centre tassel is actually coming from this little fan shape. So to add a tassel, or a fringe if you like, mm -hmm. pass that through and go through the bottom few beads here. There we go, pass it through there. So when you're adding the fringe on, mm -hmm. um, I've started off, I can't remember if I've got five of them. I've gone for the largest bead here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to graduate them down. So that, because it's a wider bead, will bring these centre pieces in together. So it looks like one um, stamen or flower or stem, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm just graduating the size down. So if I go for sort of four or five of these, lovely eight o's afterwards yeah and then again i'm looking for a taper mm -hmm. so, so i'm going to have to go for the the thinner ones at the bottom here maybe i'll put another one of those on and a few of these and then you just need to make sure you've got enough um thread to be able to turn around and come straight back up again at the same uh tassel point mm -hmm. i can't remember how many exactly i've got there but this is this is your center point so your fringing will then um, graduate down on on the outward mm -hmm. motion so this will be the longest one and then the next one either side will be smaller so I've gone for this I'm just checking I have actually got I have actually got a bronze either side so I've gone for a bronze and then your nice big chunky bead another bronze pass those down and then I've got have I gone for three here I'm just checking so I'm doing exactly the same yeah, one, two, three, like this. And then you miss out the, these three beads that you've added here on the end and uh -huh. you go straight back up all of these beads, which is sometimes easier said than done. So I'm gonna do them in sections. <coughs> straight back up here. And you try and try and make sure you catch all of them because if you don't you end up with a little piece of um, thread that you don't want to see see mm. where I've got this little loop mm -hmm. if you get that happen don't like the, yeah. the thre threads are like hang on to the end three and just pull ah got you and it will all sort of filter it back through again so I'm working back up 
towards the top. It's being reluctant to go through, but I'm going to make it. <laughs> so push that up through there. And then what you want to do is actually stitch through the backing foundation there so that the needle comes out at the back. Like that, like that. I think you can see that. Mm -hmm. So again, pulling that through. And again, I'm just going to hold the end three beads and pull the thread. So that's your oh. central point. So then what wow. you do is then you pass the needle back through directly next to mm -hmm. that one and then you can start doing your fringing. So it's the same technique but without this, this embellishment at the top. And I've gone for the black because I wanted the drama so that this looked more like the, the stamen. So again, adding a few of these. And obviously you want them to be slightly smaller than the previous uh, fringe. So I just pass that through there. These ones are slightly bigger so they're easier to use. But again you can use I mean any beads that you've got you can add in. Don't forget this uh, kit should have been just shy of £40 but we took it to 21 95 but that price only actually lasts till 8 o'clock in the morning so grab it if you want it. Okay so that one I might just take one of those off because what I want to do is make sure that the last section of embellishment here is the same but that it graduates up on a nice um, even line. Mm -hmm. So once you've got one side done you then just count the number of beads you've got so that the other side is exactly mirrored. Mm -hmm. Is that one going to be exactly there? Yeah just about so you can see the largest beads sit kind of on a diagonal and then come up towards the outside edge of your comb. Mm. So again I'm just going to pick up three of these, one, two, three, and pass it back up through the centre. I see. So you're always finishing with that sort of motif then? Yeah, so you will always come back up to the middle and then always pass the needle out through the back of your design. Um, and then you carry on in the same way that I've done um, the existing uh, rainbow, if you like, of sparkles on, yeah. on there. You, you keep going until you've filled out the whole of the semicircle with wh whichever coloured beads you like. Mm -hmm. And then the second piece you're going to stitch your comb mm -hmm. to the second piece and when you finish doing all your embellishment on here you then stitch the piece with the comb with a blanket stitch around the edge here mm -hmm. and then it, it just keeps it all together and then you can use another piece of this lovely um, cup, cup chain, chain to hide those stitches. Wow. So it, it, it's quite Neat. time consuming but it, it really is worth the effort I think so I, I, I really encourage people to, to give it a go. Um, and then you get something that looks a bit like this. And when you see and it, the finish to it, it's so professional. Yeah, you, can, you can see this This is the edge here, so all, all the stitching on the back. The, the, you, the only stitching you can see for this mm -hmm. is because I've put the comb on the outside. If you want to hide that, mm -hmm. you stitch the comb to, so that it's on the inside edge. Ah, like sandwich it a bit. Yeah, and then sandwich it so oh, it yeah. would be hidden. Fabulous. Kind of thing like that. Hannah, thank yeah. you so, so much for sharing that with us. Isn't that just beautiful? Thank you. What a brilliant... Um, and again, we were talking earlier on, actually, on this morning show about how gold seems to be coming back in. I, I love it. It's yeah. lovely, isn't it? I really it? do. I really think it, I, it's just glamorous. Very. And to pair it with that black makes it even more spectacular. Yeah. Hannah, you are a love. Um, speaking of glamorous... Yes. How do you feel about this pearl strand I'm about to bring. I, I think this is the ultimate. This is what I would call an heirloom piece. It's yes. something that I would I would like to buy myself at some point if I ever got yeah. the chance, but they tend to come on and disappear quite yeah. quickly. Yeah, you're right. Um, again, it's something that deserves the best quality findings and the best quality clasp that you possibly can put with it because mm. it is so timeless. Yeah. You could hand this on for generation after generation. An heirloom piece, a legacy piece under £80 star buy. Natural colour graduated pearls I've got here for you and they are the genuine real deal. When I bring to you a graduated pearl, I think it is very easy for us to be nonchalant about it if we're not careful. 
What we need to remember and recognize with this strand is, I have not got for you here a beaded strand in the sense of, I'm gonna bring you 10 of the 3.5, then I'm gonna bring you 10 of the six mil, and then I'm gonna bring you 10 of the nine mil. That is not what we have here. Look at the movement that you get on this design. This is accurate within an nth degree to slowly and professionally graduate these pearls up. What we have for you here, right on the end, is approximately a 3.5 for a pearl or two. And then it beautifully and almost unignorably, uh, sorry, ignorably in the sense if you always don't notice it, goes up to a 4 mil, maybe a 4.5, maybe a 5, a 6. You have got here a true amount of time, effort and workmanship. And this isn't just workmanship for the sort of, you know, timings that these are going to take to actually harvest them and get them out of the mollusk. It's about the skill level of graduating these up as beautifully and professionally as they are. This is not a beading strand, as I said, in the sense of here, I have a few 3.5 mil, now I have a few 6 mil, now I have a few 9 mil. The fluidity and movement and complexity of this strand is possibly only known by you who's ever tried to recreate this. Have you done that too? I've done that. I've tried to recreate strands like this myself at home by buying, you know, four or five different strands. You know, by buying, <laughs> bye bye, by buying, oh, stop it, Bex, a four mil strand and then a six mil strand and then an eight mil strand and then say a nine or ten mil strand. But it does not work. The step up nature of it, it does not look luxurious enough. That's what this is about. It's about being able to luxuriate in the, pro the, the precious pearls that we've got here, the beauty and the finesse. I promised you under 80 pounds. Now, the reason I mention that is because the first time I brought you a graduated pearl, that's where I was heading. That's where I was around, in fact, the 80 to 90 pounds mark. What I didn't actually say is, today, I'm gonna go to an incredible deal. Natural, totally natural. Every single one of these graduated out in the most beautiful way. 19 pounds and 95 pence. Hannah nearly gave herself whiplash then. Achoo! Looking at the producer. I did 19. Not expect that. 19 pounds and 95 pence. A third of my stock is gone. I'm so sorry, Web, but if you saw that price, you were in as quick as a, a, a you know, I don't know, a cat on a hat. Um, so yeah, you were in really, really quickly. Um, hello to you all. It's lovely to have you on board. Can I just let you know that, that my last sort of 20 minutes or so of today's show is bargainacious deals and it is miss it, miss out today, uh, this evening. So some of these are extremely low stock, especially when I've got, you know, County Durham in, I've got West Midlands in, Tyne and Weir in, I've got an undisclosed location in, I've got Oxfordshire in, Cheshire in, North Yorkshire in, all of these people checking out. That is great. But the people are with it in their baskets you're you're hovering on dainty line at, at the moment that price point what price were you expecting were you expecting the 80 70 pounds mark uh, yes at least I, I was thinking this was a really like high-end luxury it looks amazing yeah that's in, that's incredible the fact yeah the graduation the color the length of the strand everything mm -hmm. i really thought that was going to be a Up big there. a big price point 50% of my stock has gone. If everyone were to check out, I would be in so far in my last chance saloon. I'd actually be teetering in last single figures, actually, if you were all to check it out. A huge well done to you. I'm very, very, very impressed with this design. I just think it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Just imagine a little simple pearl knot in between each of those. Or even if you um, are watching, even on the repeat actually, today, Saturday, I've launched a DVD this morning for you and there was pearls on the Statement uh, Chainmail DVD. Okay. Who planted another strand of pearls? Go on then. How many are we looking at? 80? Ooh, less than 10. <laughs> Ooh, less than 10 of these ones available. And that is probably because it is 
a double trouble deal on near round pearls and probably also because at £34.95 that for two strands of near round pearls is wonderful that for two necklaces so that would be if you made these for friends £15 per near round pearl necklace wow £15 per one huh pardon oh my gosh right you ready for this you ready for this I think you have got yourself oh, yeah. something very special here with mm. that luster as well. Have you seen the luster on these? If I hold it out there to you. Can you see how highly reflective that is? Wow. You have got such a beautiful uh, sort of reflection in the surface of these. Okay, please do be quick on them whilst you can because I am very low stock now. Low single figures on this one now with people checking out. But look how crisp the line is. It doesn't look diffused or um, out of focus because sometimes pearls can if maybe the surface of them isn't as pristine as one would like but with this one today you get real professionalism working out about 15 pound per necklace very low stock in these ones now so please do grab them whilst you can just because they are so elegant and you can see the surface they're going to go great with those metallic pearls i did for you earlier on or if you got the deal of the day which sadly did sell out on this morning's show but well worth having a little look at if you so wish so busy, so busy. Uh, four of those ones available now. Four available of those ones. We've had so many sellouts throughout the day, actually. Um, da -da -da. <laughs> this is so lovely. I like the colour of this one, really do. Uh, because it's not as cold as some of your silvers. It's really pretty. That lovely, almost blue silver, I think we're getting here. That is such a lovely colour. You uh, look very happy with this colour, Hannah. Ooh, Do you like I'm it? I'm just looking at it, actually. I don't think I've seen this one, actually. No? I like it. What is it that strikes you about it, Hannah? It's, it's almost got sort of like a, a kind of a haze... A sort of a, a lilac-y blue haze over You're the so top. Right. And yeah. then it's just really pretty. It is elegant, isn't yeah, it? I like that. At £6.95 for any genuine pearls. I'm not surprised you're in on this one yet again. If you are watching on the repeat, just remember that you have only got about ooh, 15 minutes before the price drops that we do go back up to the original price. So do make sure you're getting it whilst you can. This is last stock as well. Last of stock, shall I say. So um, do make the most of it whilst you can because we are low in stock on some of these. And I think with something like this in that really individual color, it's a nice one to add to your collection, isn't it? It's nice, and again, it, it would look very pretty with sort of dusty pink colours as well. So, mm. you know, yeah, that would look, there's, it's, there's just an elegance to it. So if you've got the, the I can't say it, but Sognetic? Sognetic quartz. quartz. from earlier. Oh, those, it's, the, yeah. And that, with the silver pearls and with these, I think they'd look fantastic. And again, it's that sort of muted beauty. You were yes, saying about the muted yeah. peachy colours, and you're so right, that does work. All the sagnatic quartz that I had. Nine of them available. Got to move on now. Well done. Okay, Pogley. I've got... This is so sleek. Oh, I love it. I think this is so sleek. When you get a black pearl, I think you're getting, you know, only a hop, skip and a jump away from a Tahitian when it comes to colour. The beauty of these, the elegance, the sleekness of these is so Tahitian-esque. And just like with a Tahitian, you almost get this pur uh, purpley um, sort of light dancing on the surface. £9.45 for this strand and these are sizable looking at over a centimetre worth on these um, each individual one so with that sizeability use these almost as buttons because they have got uh, you know they've got that rondelle shape but you can actually literally use these as buttons you could use these as your um, cufflinks as well we're actually going to give you a discount on these ones now so do it, it was a random price Sheridan's like I don't like that random price but we're going to do another random price, £7.65, every single penny we can, we are going to, <laughs> 765 oh no, that's totally wrong, da, da, da. oh it's one, two, three, four, five, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, how weird. 765 <laughs> is your black fresh water pearls you're getting here. Uh, pop a head spin through, little loop on the bottom, T-bar in there, 
What a lovely set of very unisex cufflinks, especially with the sort of androgynous, um, you know, cuts that we're seeing in suits at the moment. You know, I think with with ladies or gents, this would be a beautiful cufflink to be able to have. Also, quite nice for stud earring, because I did on the mall. Uh, did I? I did at some point. Um, I did the um, lovely um, sort of stud earrings that I think would look gorgeous with these. And you just, you know, you could even just pop some stones over wire through here, or one of your. I did some. Um, oh yeah, look, something like this. That is so lovely. You could just drop it from. Oh, because I did some featherweight sterling silver and. Um, gold headpins earlier on they would work wouldn't they because again it kind of sits a bit differently doesn't it just a bit unusual really well done okay i've got for you do you know what this really this blue strand really goes to show how dark and rich and intense and almost silky and inky the previous ones were because look when you're looking at these i think you could think they're more peacock pearl-esque does it does it but wait till I show it you along the size I've got, because this is so regal and royal. Look at that. It is fresh, it is regal, it is five pounds and 95 pence. Wow, that for that rich quality of genuine pearl. Um, this is so silken, it's proper regal and royal blue this, isn't it? Five pounds and 95 pence. Is this a glass pearl? Is it a, is it a plastic pearl? Has it been made in a laboratory? No, this is created in a genuine, uh, you know, by mother nature. It's created in your mollusk. Please do check out on these ones whilst you can. I have got um, many of you with this in your basket, which is absolutely fine. Oh, let me show it. Look, look my neckline. Because it goes lovely with this dress it's colour. for that dress, isn't it? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So royal blue, this it just works, doesn't it? It's a gorgeous colour. Really good. Like, good for nautical designs as well. Do, 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 do. What would you do with this to make it nautical? Um, so, red and white are the obvious colours to go with it. So, if you've got a, a pearl or if you've got a, maybe a garnet or something, mm. and then perhaps maybe a, 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 like a sterling silver... Um, space bead or something like that okay. and then you could do like a woven design or you could do a twisted design um, and it's just it's just a color scheme that keeps coming back every year and almost, almost every it. season as yeah, well doesn't it you're totally right you're yeah. completely right I always love red and blue together and I know I've spoken to you about this before because when you think of complementary colors you think of things opposite on the color wheel and red and blue aren't actually opposite each other but I think they work so 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 well together so well in fact I'm wearing red and blue as we speak I'm basically the hot and cold tap um Louise that says hi can you thank Becky for doing the double shift oh today Aww. she must be exhausted but the shows have been great oh Louisa you are such a love thank you very very much obviously it's because um you know, we've got the lovely Z who's still not feeling very, very well. And as opposed to, you know, maybe having a repeat show on, um, I'd much rather be here with you. So thank you, Louisa. Five also, these delicious prices make it quite easy, if I'm honest. Um, five pounds and 95 pence. These are your little cherry berries. Um, maybe, oh, the um, Gemma Crow did a Jingle Bells uh, door hanging. A DVD not so long ago and I think these with like little holly motif maybe above them would be beautiful for the festive time of year and you could have those possibly as napkin rings you could have those properly in hairband pieces um, it's a very sort of lipstick color too isn't it which is pretty hold the phones obviously don't just hold the phone dial it too <laughs> not gonna get very far is it the one in my hands oh Perfection. I've got people asking. I'm going to do these in a minute. Before it, before that, I'm going to do a popcorn chain um, with a beautiful heart. These are coming up for you very soon. You're going to, if you bought any of the sterling silver that I've brought to you today, whether it's the chapel locket, whether it's the lovebirds, whether it was the happily ever after envelope that opened and had the letter inside, um, I think the sterling silver clasp is going to go so nicely with it. 
I adore how you're getting such a 3D chain and how it has this mirror-like glimmer to it. And yet, you guessed it, you have got here that wonderful, and gone left to right or right to left. I hope I'm doing it the wrong way. Am I? You have got the really gorgeous magnet, yeah. magnetic clasp. You have got the wonderful magnetic clasp on this. Now, the interesting thing with this is, look, you've got your little nodule on the outside of that one, and you've got the side that goes in on that side. So that means that when you have this on, even if you were to pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it this way, that's not going to come out of place. Now, that is fabulous. If you've got a big gemstone on this, for example, say I wanted to do three of these pearls coming down for it, that chain is not going to go anywhere until you need it to. It is so elegant and so high shine. And I think, obviously, always be aware of gifting this to people with pacemakers. But I think it is going to raise a smile on anyone's face. Because this is the type of chain that even were the class to rock around to the front, it wouldn't bother you at all. You wouldn't mind. It would look absolutely beautiful. Well done to you all. I will just let you know that for the final few, £14.90. Pence. This is a last of stock actually on this. I've not seen this in weeks. And um, fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Whether you're adding your charms onto this or whether you're just wearing this as a beautiful necklace, I think it really is something very special to be able to own. And I'll just pop it on this bust for you as well, so you can really see how this sits at seventeen-inch length. It's a lovely one to have uh, sort of higher up on the neckline, isn't it? So I'll just bring this bust in and put that in for you in a second. Uh, it is going to work beautifully in a design like this. And look at how that sits. Very nice. Little bit of a cue on the phone line, but remember it is a free phone number. And also it may well be worth staying there because I've got the nucleated pearls coming up. I did some nucleated pearls this morning that you may well be able to get your hands on. Uh, no, you won't because it's sold out on the morning show. But it's always worth checking, actually, just because sometimes, uh, you know, payments might not go through, etc. You have got beautiful quality when you're dealing with nucleated pearls. And I'm being told that what we are going to do with this is ridiculous. Sheridan's words. Now I am bringing to you centimeter beautiful, to me, as round as you can get, nucleated pearls. We don't normally expect this, do we? No, a nucleated not at all. pearl. Yeah. It's the last pearl shop opportunity of the Saturday bridal day. And therefore it'd be rude of us not to go out on this wonderful Saturday with a bang. Now, when you're seeing quality like this, you've obviously seen a lot of nucleate pearls. With this, what would you expect to be paying? I, if you're buying it anywhere else, it's got to be three figures. It's, it, it's, a, it's a luxury item. It's high end. It's good quality. Yeah. It's, it's going to be considered, I would imagine. However, I know we're jewellery maker. Yeah, so yeah. I have just given you a bit of a heads up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to count these up for you, and I will just let you know that nucleated pearls um, I have brought to you at the £5 mark each before, with in mind that our prices at £5 per pearl are incredible. I've got on this two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 approximately. 21. You ready for this? Bear in mind, five pounds per individual pearl for a normal pearl. These are your nucleated pearls. These are not only your nucleated pearls, these are your round nucleated pearls. Now I leave it, so don't forget every time you get one of these, it's going up in price. They're your nucleated pearls, that's a price hike. They are round nucleated pearls, that's another kind of, uh, you know, um, price hike that we've got on these. What you are getting at $69.95 is very good. That's where the clothes are, Sheridan. All right, the clothes at that price. Yeah, it's a great price to close at. Actually, though, um, today I've got multi buys in on this instantly. Uh, first person in, three, straight off the bat. I'm going to bring to you a price drop price 
that I would expect to, for, for quality of, because these are described as 10 mils, so it's not like a 10 by 11 mil or a 10 by you know, 9 mil. These are beautiful 10 mils, so nice centimetres worth there of genuine pearl. I'm going to bring to you the price point I would expect if these were just of a similar size, maybe nowhere near that amount of colour, maybe nowhere near um, that amount of shaping in, in the sense of, you know, that beautiful spherical finish. $69.95, not your deal. If you like it, I strongly suggest that you ring in because Sheridan is giving you a deal and a half this evening. Three, two, one. The arrows are about to come in, and that means <laughs> Sharon just going this price. <laughs> £49.95 pence for these big, beautiful, quality pearls. The sleek and impressive pearls that you're getting here. What you can do, and actually we had um, the lovely Fleur on with us this morning. Fleur was talking about her individual pearls and how, on that deal of the day that sold out literally in, I think it was like two or three minutes, she was talking about how just one of those on an individual simplistic chain could actually fetch the 60 70 80 pounds price point for just very simplistic beauty pieces imagine the same sort of deal with these and that look and finesse you're going to get with them 49 pounds and 95 pence is fantastic well done to collectors you're all in this is my final opportunity for you to grab your hands on these deals don't forget though we are going to head on into a repeat you're about to watch me back um, with Fleur and that launch uh, DVD that we launched for you Saturday morning and also I did the tumble stones and I did a dragon's egg as well in the first um, in the first like I think it was the first item so straight after the break we'll go back into the repeat and we did a uh, dragon's egg 5.95 off the top of my head and um, I'm heading on over to the slightly poorly, which is why I've not been sat next to her the whole <laughs> I'm time. Not breathing but <laughs> so so lovely, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Thank Hello. you so much, my love, for today. Thanks really for appreciate it. Um, these kits, low stock, so do grab them whilst you can. When are you in with us next, Hannah, my love? Uh, the 28th, I think it is. Okay. Um, more seed beads, but I've got some amazing gemstones too. Woo! So all of that is coming up for you. Thank you so much for joining me um, this evening. We're about to head into a repeat of the morning show, unless you're watching on Sunday morning, whereby we'll be going on into the morning show. Um, we have got a jam-packed day. It's the final day for you tomorrow. I'm going to be back with you tomorrow afternoon with the lovely Katie Reid. Have a great evening.